I met a traveler from an antique land who said, Two vast and trunkless legs of stone stand in the desert. Near them, on the sand, half sunk, a shattered visage lies, whose frown and wrinkled lip and sneer of cold command tell that its sculptor well those passions read which yet survive, stamped on these lifeless things. The hand that mocked them and the heart that fed. And on the pedestal these words appear. My name is Ozymandias, king of kings. Look on my works, ye mighty and despair. Nothing beside remains. Round the decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare, the lone and level sands stretch far away. Back to it. So the, the party successfully discovered Talish through by investigating his room by sneaking in that he okay. had the disguises and, and that he was the assassin. The party quickly relayed that information to ask you who was convinced who promptly arrested Talish with the help of his guard and and quickly rounded up the rest of the assassins in the castle and in the town. With the loyal guard under the rule of Askew, uh, plus the friendly orcs from the neighboring woods, the assassins were no match for the uh, party of Askew, particularly with Arness already in custody. Uh, so the, the party was rewarded. They uh, they were thanked by the, the townspeople who had to pick up and establish new order in town. They had to elect a new mayor, and they picked Harmon, one of the party's favorites, who, if you think about it, I think would be an excellent candidate for mayor of the town. I agree. Yeah. I'm sure he was happy to take on that position so he, and not be in the temple. <laughs> Harper was, who, if, if you read the uh, PDF, you discover Harper was probably the most powerful man in town from a, a, a skill standpoint. He uh, was a level nine cleric but suffering from the effects of senility. And with a potion of longevity that the adventuring party had managed to conjure and provide to him, he's expected to begin recovering and be an excellent representative of the town. It's always good to have a friend who's a level nine cleric, that's for sure. As a, child, as, as a kid, it never occurred to me to mix a potion of longevity with all those spells that aged you. Because <laughs> wish ages you. Yeah. Permanency aged you. Yeah. We, on, on push on Jeffy or resolve it. Sorry. So ask you and Harmon had to decide how to deal with the crooks. You had already discovered What's a good number of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sorry. You, you guys probably won't be around long enough to see what eventually happens to them, but you know that they were taken into custody. You did discover most of the assassins, or at least a great number of the assassins. Mm -hmm. Telish was head of the guild. Arnes was an assassin, but she was a very low-level assassin. I, I had written in the epilogue uh, names of a couple of the other high-level assassins, mm -hmm. which you didn't actually run into. A fellow named San Sangster, who you may have run into one, once in one of the earlier adventures. Another member named Gellius, and... Uh, Gilmy, you did run into. He was the dwarven smith. We saw him talking to Oscar. Yeah, several, we had an several times. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And he, you successfully <coughs> determined Oscar, Lothar, uh, and Glammy were members of the guild. You probably didn't oh, suspect right. Glammy was, but you should have if, if seen Oscar and and um, Captain Bassmar and uh, Philmar spent a lot of time talking to them. Yeah, I think we knew Gammy because she was talking to Lothar trying to get us to go to the beach to kill crabs or something like that. We're like, really? A few of the members were, were actually Which, not way, assassin members, but they were just spies for the assassin skill. And one of those individuals was Holga. And I had indicated in the epilogue it presented an interesting problem on in how to deal with, with Holga. As it turns out, Holga and Wilbur really were an item. Oh, they they really did care for each other, and Holga... Had she known what Telish's plan was, uh, never would have continued helping him with the within the plot. 
That's a happy ending to it. I like a love story. That's very nice. Will Fong was captured in a neighboring town and uh, will most likely serve as a, a witness to what he saw. He was not an assassin. He was just a common thief and card shark. I wonder if we could have taken him. It would have been nice to have a medallion of ESP, I'll tell you. Except you're good. Except you would have noticed coming. Yeah, yeah. You're good. Yeah. Just <laughs> Uh, th there wasn't much that the retired party, the adventuring party, could offer. Actually, they they weren't really supposed to play a very big role in this this adventure at all. Mm -hmm. the, the party learned that they had some skills and, and started leaning a little toward their help. But, but that wasn't really the role that they were supposed to play in this adventure. But we thought they were going to be the dosek smakina, the, the the saving grace at the end. Swoop in and save the day. The yeah. Cavalry. Yeah. Although, uh, is it possible that they still have Abraham's body, and uh, now that the high priest has been restored, he can raise dead and bring Abraham back to life? Uh, Abraham, Abraham is no longer part of this adventure. Okay. <laughs> the, the castle knows how to dispose of people like that. Yeah, I suppose so. There, 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 is e there was evil in the yeah. castle. Although Where do you think one of those zombies came from? <laughs> I wouldn't say it was hidden from, from Askew and the other lawful people. They, they knew that there were problems in the castle, but but they worked together. The authority of the castle and the authority of the guard. And the guard, the guard was in a tricky spot. You know, they were loyal to the hierarchy, mm -hmm. even though that it was pretty well suspected that there were some activities going on. Remember that the Assassin's Guild wasn't a foregone known thing there. It was, it was rumor. Yeah. Rumor and supposition. So the party was rewarded with the magic items that were in Talish's possession. With, uh, they, they weren't allowed to take Arnis' spellbook. That's really property of the of the castle, and would be much more useful to Harper and the remaining individuals. It'd be much more useful to Claire. We don't need the spellbook. We just need to sit with it for like three days. Yeah, they would let us do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so do we have the cloak of Ethereum on this too? No. No. no you, you never actually even found that. that my, posi my position was that was on Talish at the time that he went oh, okay. out of his room. Makes sense. But you found all of other Talish's other prized possessions, which uh, you were allowed to keep, uh, as as well as the gold that, that you were rewarded. And uh, Lydia gave up claims on the studded leather armor and the, the ropes. That's great, but now that well, I'm a mage, the ropes, I don't need to yeah, yeah, so I can't use any armor. Hey, what if you give it to my are you elf? A, oh, are you an elf or a half elf? Or? I'm a human. I have a half elf ranger that could use studded like that. Why would you, you be a human in AD&D? Oh, ranger? Yeah. 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 No, I don't want to be a ranger running around in the desert and playing. So, so that being the case, the party so had no reason to further stay in town and left town and started their next adventure. I just over here. All right. How stupid I look. So <laughs> party leveled up to the extent that they could with their experience points. Yeah. So yes. the, the party should probably take a moment and reintroduce themselves and, and tell them what their characters are, what levels they are, and what what developments. All right. Uh, Ducat leveled up. You the cleric magic user. He leveled both of those up to level two. He's a, a provide your race too. Half elf cleric magic user. Uh, leveled up to level two and two, which allows them to take more first level spells. Nothing thrilling and exciting there. Um, yeah. With the help of Elizabeth, I, I rolled, dice. I rolled up there Ashley, a level 2 fighter, female, to assist us in some of the battles. Um, she's a pretty generic fighter. Chainmail, shield, longsword, bow. Uh, she has a charisma of 14. Ooh. And a wisdom wait, 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 wait. No, what's she wearing? <laughs> chainmail bikini? No, she wears real chainmail armor. Oh, okay. So, so, hit points? Uh, so she has 22 hit points and an AC of 3. What's her name? Ashley. Liz picked the name too. Creative. Is it A-S-H-L-E-A-S-H-L-E-I-T? What, what -E -E uh, is a level 2 cleric and a level 2 mage. He's a multi-class. He has 11 hit points. <laughs> He's so top. you got to get used to that. That's going to be... Right, right now he has an AC of 8, but I'm trying to get the brace with AC of 3. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That okay. Next is... Uh, yeah. Eldane. Yeah. Eldane, okay. So Eldane is a um, uh, a rogue thief uh, elf. He is now level four. Um, 
I love how the, the, the thieves level so much more quickly than anybody else in the party. They also have the lowest amount of XP per level, if I remember correctly. Right. That's why they the clerics start far behind. That's why they go so quickly. Huh? The clerics start far behind. Um, yeah, but he, the cleric doesn't pick nearly as many locks and traps. Uh, honestly, the only <laughs> real thing that he got by leveling up was a boatload of hit points. Well, your cleric, your 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 thief skills, you know, your well, skills <coughs> got jacked. I was gonna say, and the only the, the other thing is my my proficiencies. For so what are his hit points, points up to? Uh, twenty three. Did you buy anything? Um. No, because we had so many oh, yeah. arrows. Yeah, that would have been the only. We didn't need to buy arrows. We don't need to buy arrows ever. I don't think. Oh, I did. I did pick up additional forty darts. I think it's very little. I mean, dark. he went into the adventure. He had, he had a tinder box and plan. He had two water skins. A silver extra dagger. Bow string. I picked oh. up a silver dagger. Um, I bought. He is. He does still. He is still in possession of the cloak. Um, plus two protection. Plus two protection. And the magic dagger, which is it's plus one plus one to all, yeah. and plus three against good clerics. Yeah, you should know all the abilities of your magic items at this point. If you don't. Is the cloak from from what's the name? Just straight. Captain Vasmar's yeah. cloak. Yeah. I think he's looking at it. little squares of all. He had a areas. cape of protection plus two. Oh, you know. Yep. That's all. Oh, okay. that, which is the same thing as a cloak of protection. Yeah. Does that does that adjust your armor class? Yeah. That essentially. Yeah. Down to. You're rocking it, man. What you down to? amazing. Great. And he wore that with his leather armor, so you, know, you can wear that along with your armor. You have the same protection. Leather. Well, he only has this. Uh, my. Oh, he, he can only have leather. He can only have leather, so he has leather armor. Um, with his dex bonus and the cape, he has an AC of three. Okay. Um, Actually, I think you might. Isn't your dex bonus minus three or plus three? It's it's it subtracts three from it. So you have a seven with your leather armor, minus three for your dex, which at four, minus two for the cloak, which at two. Uh, maybe I read the sheet wrong. I thought it was an eight. <laughs> Is it eight? It's leather armor oh, plus leather? shield. Yeah. Seven. It's oh, leather armor plus shield. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Okay. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Okay. So he's, he's an AC of three. Um, like I said, his magic dagger is is plus one to all. Is that that's hit and damage? Yeah. Right. A magic no, weapon. No, not. Isn't the oh. plus to damage? Are you talking about the cloak or the the, uh, the dagger now? Yeah. yeah. It's damage. Okay. Just just damage or to hit and damage? To hit and damage. Both. Hit and damage. Okay. It's both. And then it's plus three uh, against good clerics. So that means don't don't get in, in a fight. With you. Um, don't piss additionally, off just so you guys know, uh, he is still in possession of the two cure poisons. We wound up never using those, That's right. so we still do have those. He is filthy, stinking rich. That's funny, because I'm dirt poor. Yep. Um, <laughs> out of the goodness, gets rich. out of the goodness of his heart, he is going to loan you at the very simple interest rate of 22% uh, <laughs> compounded daily. <laughs> um, he will loan you whatever funds you need to purchase any items that you might need. Perhaps you should change your thief's name to Chase. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so, in, in all seriousness, I mean, we, we have more than enough money. The one thing we do need to find out, um, we don't need to find that out right now, but the one thing we do need to find out that we, it, especially if we want to carry any of them with us, as, as Bob had suggested earlier, is some of the gems. We have 85 gems that we don't know the value of, or we don't know exactly what they all are. Um, so I don't know if they're worth investigating what they are, um, or just finding out how much they're worth. No, we just want to kill things. I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> so I can, I can tell you that we can assume that a lot of would have um, identified them for you. Oh, okay. But I Good don't point. recall where you found this gem specifically. They were up in the castle. They were in the um, Abraham's chest. They, no, no, they were in the the chest that um, I retrieved the, from the ground. The coffer? The coffer. Okay, let me, uh, in the let me give you that information. Closet. Yeah. Um, just to give you guys a rough idea, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have about 900 and something gold pieces. Um, seven, eight, nine, ten. Dude, run the report. Stop 11, time 12, 13, run the report. 14. We got about 1,400 <laughs> Electrum pieces, 8, 6, and 1,400. 
silver pieces. Um, you wow. smell bad. Huh? You smell bad. I do. Stinking rich. I am. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not what I'm telling you I have. That's just what I'm telling you. You guys know we have. <laughs> wow. All right, here, here's the jewelry well, that the was in the coffer. Of the accounting. I'm sorry, that. what was that, The Joel? jewelry that was in the coffer? Yes. There were three strands of pearls Excuse worth 100, 150, and 200 gold. Strands, pearls. There's a dirty joke in there somewhere. 100, 150, and 200 right. GP. There were two pendants. Okay. Worth 150 and 200. 150, 200. And four jeweled gold rings. Worth 100, 150, 175, and 250. Sorry, say that. 100, 100 150, 150, 175, 175 and 250. And 250. Those, are the those, those weren't the gems. Those aren't the gems. But those, the, right, so those are the jewels. That was gems. the other thing that I had. The gems are the ones you dug up down in the woods, no? Didn't we dig up a chest up? Didn't you find something down in the woods? In that, that hole you were in? Or you found something? Yeah, I didn't give you any treasure unless it was in the, in the book here. Somewhere How about we, we can stick a pin in it. We can. I wrote. We can worry about that later. Yeah, I wrote 85 gems down. We have enough cover over. cover over per stick. Oh, more than enough. God, yeah. More than enough. We could buy a city. Wow. How is it I only ended up with 100 100 gold pieces in a reward? That, that's it. How did that happen? <laughs> you got 100 gold. And Mike, you found that you made everybody with another character. Oh yes, and I um. There, it, I'm sorry. You, yeah. There were six gems in Captain Basmar's. Right, movie. there were six gems. In, they were 25 GP each. Okay. Somewhere you, you said something about 85 gems. That's why I wrote it down, Joel. So I, I don't right. remember exactly where. We can look them up later if you want. Not a big okay. deal. Um, and if I miswrote it, then I'll just cool. erase it. 85 gold pieces, 85 gems. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah maybe it could 85 have been. 85 gems is an awful. Um, so I, the other character, I, I had originally rolled this up in case from the other one, so it was kind of there. But um, okay. Kalar. She is a female half elf ranger. Um, she is stunning, and she's wearing nothing but studded leather armor. Um, Which we originally she's blonde, she blue eyed. She's a wood elf. That, that was her mother. She was a mother was a wood elf. So she, she her gives, father was a. There's human. a dirty joke in there too. There is. <laughs> there is. You, you like? Thank you for going there. I appreciate somebody picking that up quickly. Um, so yeah, so she, she gets a lot of the elf abilities, as you guys know, um, just not to the extent that a full elf would. What's her she hit can, points? She can see in darkness. 22 hit points. She's a level 2. Okay. That's what Joel told me AC to make here. AC of 4. She could buy a plate. Oh, she's a ranger. She's a ranger. She doesn't like to wear a plate. No. So she took that studded leather armor that you can't use. Sure. Um, so she's got that. So that brought her AC down to four. So you're saying I should have put plate on my ranger? No, I think you should. <laughs> you're allowed to. Why not? Um, she's got the standard adventuring junk. Um, she carries a longbow, a short sword, and two daggers. Oh, and my, my thief, he's got uh, four daggers, a short sword, and his longbow, plus four. No more than three rangers may ever operate together at any one time. How many rangers do we have now? Two. Two. I'm, I multiply or I dual class and I'm no longer a ranger. Okay. And I can't get back my ranger skills until I hit level three mage. Did I mention when you guys were going through Arnes's bedroom, you triggered a trap of dust of sneezing and choking? Yeah, and we see. And, yeah, four, and, and all four dust. of you made your saving throws. Yeah. The saving throw was versus poison or die. Yes. Yeah, I, needed a, about that. I needed a 14, and I got exactly a 14. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Wait, it was, it, was a, it was a save or die? It was, that was it? It was yeah. a save or die. There weren't too many of those, but that was one of them. Wow. Okay. I lost all my changes. Um, so that is it for the two characters. Okay, so how about um, Elric? So Elric was so fascinated with uh, the role of magic in The Last Adventure that he's had a serious think since the days of uh, the conclusion of that adventure, and he has decided to tutor, uh, to become the student of Ducat, 
Ducat is now his master, and he is learning the ways of magic through Ducat himself. You are now a grasshopper. As a part of this, yes. though, he's had to sacrifice <laughs> his woodland ways. He was previously a ranger, uh, and he was quite good with the sword and the bow. Now he has to give all of that up and armor. He must walk in robes, and he cannot use anything more difficult than a couple of darts and some daggers. And his new nickname is Spongy. Now, in theory, so what basically happens is he went, he leveled up to a level two ranger, and then he went back down to a level one mage, and with the experience we got, he is now currently a level two ranger and a level two mage. Someday, when he hits level three mage, he might be permitted to use those skills of a level two ranger, but not for a while. And uh, also, I think it says that for a dual class human, if he wants to, he could pick up the sword and use it as if he were a level two ranger, if he does, he sacrifices all experience for the rest of the adventure. I think it's all, yeah, so he, 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 has, he takes a penalty, quite a big penalty. Take, yeah, it takes a big hit. I think it says no experience. You're done. Really done? Yeah. So in, in a worst case That's scenario, really harsh, to yeah. save you, I might bust, bust out a sword. No, or to save yourself, maybe. But I'll have to take a hit. Um, so uh, Elric now, uh, he's learned how to call forward a, a magical familiar. And uh, so it, Joel just rolled the dice. It is a black cat that has a silver-colored diamond at its neck with violet eyes, and it is called Mephistopheles. And it's very good at hearing and seeing in the dark. And while the cat is around him, he gets three extra hit points. Uh, his hit points currently are 25, 28, if the cat is within 12 squares or 120 feet of him. Um, he has a spell of... Um, what did he take? Oh, uh, he took sleep and unseen servant. Uh, that's currently what he's got memorized. He can only cast two spells at a time. And I think that is. And Elric uh, is only wearing robes. His armor class is ten, and he's got a silver dagger and uh, about forty darts. Okay. And uh, the second character is Chris or Kel Kel Kevlorn, who is our uh, <coughs> cleric, a good cleric of magic, uh, worships the god of magic. Kevlorn has three or four, actually I guess now it's like five Cure Light Wound spells memorized. Yeah, five. And he um, he has sure, um, 22 hit points. He should be level, level three, right? He, 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 he being level three? He's level three. Then he has level two spell also. Oh. Um, okay, I'll find the level two spell out. But he's uh, going to be our NPC, so we won't see too much of Kevlorn. Okay. He's a healing machine. Jump Heal back. bot. I'll jump back to Ducat for... Minute. Why don't you give us your spells? Here's a level. Uh, I opt to choose. For cleric, I have cure light wounds. I kept command. Uh, detect evil and create water. And then for magic user, I have magic missile and also unseen servants. And I'm allergic to the cat. <laughs> I hate the cat, Bob. I'm allergic to it. Oh. <laughs> You said magic <laughs> missile and what else? Unseen servant. Okay. Oh, great. <laughs> AKA. Yeah, that abuse spell. DMs out your reason. Bob, are you upgrading uh, the whole level up Chris's character? Uh, I did. I just gave him hit points and a few extra spells. Alright, so, so while you're picking out a uh, cap horn spell, uh, how about Ephron? Uh, Ephron made it to uh, oh, oh. Ephron the Elven Ranger. By the way, Ephron translates to Lone Hunter. Uh, he went up two levels. His current HPs are. Oh, do you remember what I rolled? Mm -hmm. What did I roll? Six? You rolled a six. Okay, I had. And you rolled twice. I told for a total of six. For a total, oh, total, total of eight. eight. It was like perfectly average. I lost all my, like all my changes, so I gotta go back and. Twenty-four hit points. Twenty-four hit points. Thank you, Bob. He now has twenty-four hit points. Uh, he was able to pick up uh, plate armor and shield, bringing his AC to minus one, if he can bring his shield and dex bonus to bear. Uh. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, you don't get a whole lot. And he's stranger. And oh, he has minus two on his. Uh, He's now better to hit. Uh, he's eight, eight, yeah, rolls an 8 to AC 10 now, instead of a 10 for AC 10. His armor class is amazing. 
Yes, one more quest. And when he uses a bow, he's at plus four, so he's yes. very impressive. Oh, and I also bought a cart uh, with which to drag along all my arrows. <laughs> yeah, because from the last adventure, we got like 10 billion arrows. It's like 20 right. dozen so arrows. Yeah, it's like 20 dozen yeah. arrows. All right, so those blew away in the sandstorm. <laughs> <laughs> and they were strapped up. And I think Kevlar, <coughs> level two spell, will be a bold person. I think I think uh, Eldane, Kalar, and Ephraim would have laid on the cart and held the arrows down. Yeah, <laughs> if we right. could have strapped them down. Oh. Uh, how about Dardar? Dardar. Dardar. Uh, leveled up to level three. Um, he got some plate mail armor and a shield, so his AC is a two. He has thirty hit points. You don't um, have a dex bonus. What's your dex? I'm oh, sorry. He doesn't have a dex bonus, but I didn't put it in there in case I was surprised or something. So he'll actually have a, a with the dex bonus an AC of one. It's um, He also. Mike, I also got the hammer. Or I'm sorry, the throwing axe. You have the throwing axe. We're going to give him the throwing axe because I, I don't know well, who else can really use the throwing axe. Throwing axe plus one. Throwing axe Do plus magic one. items return after you throw them? No? Okay. Throwing axe plus one. Yeah, not maybe. One either. to six, one to four. And he also has a uh, hammer. Blue sword hammer. Excellent. Did you get the magic wand sword too? That's the next. Then we have three items we have to divvy up now. Oh, sorry. Get that out of myself. Elric, can you give me your armor class, please? Uh, as a mage with robes, his armor class uh, is 10. He's not exceptionally quick. He's not exceptionally slow. He's going to have the worst armor class of the group. See, now you suck. How about uh, Kev Horn? Uh, Kev Horn, he's got a uh, plate. I think he would upgrade to plate and a shield. Sure. And yeah. he doesn't have a dex bonus, so his armor uh, class is going to be uh, plate and shield with no armor uh, 2, right? Yeah, plate and shield is 2. So his armor class will be a 2. Um, so, obviously, it's Create Water Command. I got that. Um, protection from the Ural, Purify Food, Drink Water, which is called um, Sanctuary. Hmm. Protection from evil. Or Bless. Or Bless, yeah. If you want to swap. This way, you can pour Cure Lights and Bless, bless or something. Alright, so, so we have the uh, Flail plus two. Plus to, I think it encompasses everybody in the we got Flail plus two, a Longsword plus two, Intelligent, Text and Visibility, and a few other powers, it says. Embracers of Defense, AC three. So, Flail plus two. Who can use a Flail? The I mean, Cleric can use the Flail. The Cleric can use Jeff the Flail. Jeff can, too. I think it, or, Jeff, or Jeff can, yeah. I think it's probably better to go on to Jeff. I kind of agree. With the Flail, or the, there's a Longsword as well, right? There's right. Longsword. You're we're we're about to fight stuff. over the Longsword. Oh. <laughs> you guys are going to fight over the Longsword? Yeah. I'm, no, I'd rather have a. I mean, I'm going to stick with the bow most often, so it wouldn't make sense to give me the longsword. You want to flail plus two, Jeff? I can do that. I can take that. You're yeah, going to give Kephorn. Or could we, what, what about Kephorn? He's got, like, no weapons. What right, but. Yeah, give him the flail and give him the longsword. But no, you know what? He's taking the longsword, I thought. Well, he's, he's got the throw. Well, who can use the throwing axe? He's How the only one. going to use a throwing axe? It's arranged. That's yeah. arranged. I mean, it's. So what's per fight? This I don't know. Every day. Well, have you ever seen Daryl from Walking Dead? He's got three arrows, but he uses like them 57 times. There was one episode where you saw him making arrows. So. That's true. Yeah. No, but the, the magic items don't break. So he throws and he picks up at the end of the encounter. Right. Yeah. Um, so a footman's flail is two to seven or two to eight for a small, medium, and large. Wow. The loose from hammer that Jeff has is two to eight and one to six. Oh. When you put the plus two in there, the flail is the better way to go. Absolutely. Okay. okay. And if he's our best hitter, because he's got the best strength, so then give him the flail. Give him the biggest. Give him the biggest gun. Flail plus two. Yeah, but give him the flail and the axe. Then he can start with the axe, throw it, and then move in with the flail. I like that. I mean, hopefully he hits with the axe. Two to seven, two to eight. Plus, if we run into a creature that can only be harmed by plus two weapons, he's the guy. I want he's the guy you want with the plus two weapon. Hey, what about Ashley? Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> Ashley. That's my female girl. Oh, okay. Is a female. What's fighter. the throwing axe? Oh, yeah, that's right. She's a fighter. We can give I think it's 1d6 with a plus yeah. one. Throwing axe is uh, 1d6, 1 to, 1 to 6 and 1 to 4. So, so far, this has been a civil conversation. You got rid of the flail. You got rid of the throwing axe. Longsword plus two. Civility, out the door. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there's a mage. I can't use it. So, so I was going to say, so... 
And There's really three characters, four characters. I'm not going to give to my NPC when you when you would do better. Well, well that's what I was going to say. I'm not going. I was going to give it to my NPC either, but I give it to you. Or say, unless you want it. You know, I, I I just I don't know. It seems like I my preference is mother for the bow anyway. You try to save it. I did save it. It's a PDF. Back. You can't save a PDF. Why don't we do a PDF? Why don't we give the amazing long sword to Mike? Computers. But then we give uh, Adam first dibs on a piece of treasure that comes up in the future. So he gets a dibs. Well, 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 so I, well, I could take those bracers. Yeah, your AC is already too for those. I was so waiting for you to say that. <laughs> if you want the bracers, so waiting for you to say that. have a zero AC. Yeah. Your, your AC would be All right, worse. So what's this long sword then? Long sword plus two. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't mind giving the long sword to an NPC. Intelligent, detects invisible, and it says and a few other powers, Joel. That's what it says. Yeah. Long sword plus um, two. Right, let me Intelligent. Check. Once you give your items to an NPC, probably pretty much better figure that they're gone. Well, it's not an NPC. Unless so the might be happens yeah, to the, dying, you divvy up the treasure. This is yeah. not an NPC, so we're good. Long sword plus two. Intelligent. Detect invisible. Yeah. Is it in the epilogue text? Oh, here's all those gems that you found. You found them in Talish's room. Yes, yes, that's right, Donald. I'm sorry, when nobody saw them. Find them. They were studs. The studs of the uh, leather armor. Uh, you, you want those values? Want them uh, down here? Uh, yeah, sure. There are 45 of them or 10 gold pieces. 45 or 10 GP. 20 of them are 25 gold pieces. Black and 10 20 gold 20 or 25 GP. 10 of them are 50 gold pieces. And you may still have them. are 50 oh. GP. Five of them are 100. 100 GP. And five of them are 200. And five or two. Give them the whole garden job. GP. You like uh, that, Or a logger. I have the stats. Oh, okay. I've got two different now, versions of my those are Those are not loose gems. Those are all the studs in the leather armor. In the leather armor. Uh, so you'd have to break open the leather armor. Though. Who says I didn't cut them all out of the leather armor? Okay. <laughs> Oh, it, 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 it won't be a studded leather armor anymore. It'll just be leather armor. He swallowed every one of them, too. Uh, I found your stats on your longsword, by the way. Oh, okay. It is a plus two. It's got an intelligence of 14. It's smarter than him. It, what's your intelligence? 12. What you, is it? This oh, is the camera talking about? This is the, um, the sword. The oh. sword is intelligent. It talks. It speaks common. And you, I think you have to be careful, because if your sword is smarter than you, it could... As long as, long as your alignments are coincide, you're okay. It's got an E of five, but I don't remember what E five means. Empathy. That's the ego. Ego. Oh, that's right. The stronger the ego on the magic item, the more the, forceful it is. Yeah, the more forceful personality, the more likely it is to push around. So it's five of five or five of two hundred fifty. <laughs> I don't remember. But here's the powers: detect invisible, okay. locate objects. And speaks common. Good as the end of Five is pretty low. That that's not gonna be anything to oh, okay. threaten you. But you should keep that in mind. You have yeah. a character to play in that sword, I suppose. Why is it always the guy with the long sword? <laughs> this is the second set sentient long sword we come across. Mm, yeah. In a player's hands. Mm -hmm. That was a good module for that, I guess. You remember too. you remember the uh um, oh, no, I was talking about uh right. uh yeah. Alexander. The adventure on White Plum Mountain. Oh, no. Black Sword? Black, back to Black the, the, the third big... I seem to remember that had an ego of around 16 or so. I think it's 1 to 18, isn't it? It's like I'm looking right here. Sword. I only have seen anything higher than that. Okay, is it, there, you get a plus for each plus of the sword, for primary ability, or extraordinary ability, special purpose. The list goes on and on. You can, you can run it up pretty quick. Yep. So the long sword detects invisible, locates objects... It speaks common. Oh, you don't know what its alignment is? Um, I didn't know that a sword can have an alignment. It's got an intelligence of 14, detect invisible, ego of 5, locate object, and speak common. So, Joel, I, I, we leave that to your creative discretion. Okay. What the personality of the sword is, and uh, yeah. the fact that it is smarter than its wielder. <laughs> not by much, but it is not smarter. By much. Well, you know, that's not saying much, though. No. Okay. Hey, hey, hey well, stupid, I told you to go right. <laughs> <laughs> Last item is Bracer's AC3. I say you give it to the guy with the least hit points. Yeah, just take them, Josh. Wait, be nice to you. I have. I don't have the least hit points, though. <laughs> I 
have a, a armor class of 10. I'm easy to hit, but at least I have 28 hit points with the cat. So I've got more than double yours. So I can still take a couple hits. Alright, I have no dex bonus, so I have back, an AC so. of 3. Woohoo! You, you, are, you are the range man. Nearly every one of the adventurer people in the Assassin's Snot was wearing some kind of ring of protection or, or cloak of protection. Really? Should have gone and killed more. They won't walk. They, we, they're we, a lot more walking around with armor as it is, so wow. none of them would have been terribly easy to beat in a fight. Yeah, actually, if it was up to me, we would have killed a lot more. But, but what people just want to talk Of course, the one we did kill, Philmar, didn't have one. I think we had to talk. That was a tough uh, one. Now it was. If we did, I probably would have not given it to you. Coming at us in mass. Yeah, I definitely wanted to kill a few more people. You guys wanted to talk about it. Well, we all wanted to kill, but that was one of those ones if you if you played it like a like a like a dungeon crawl. Yeah, that, oh, that's we correct. Right. Right. I think we should take a lot of people out on the boat. Son of God. There was we took out everybody on the boat. No, we, we should have brought a few more out. On oh. The boat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like party members. What? Who do you want to take that? <laughs> all right, so we've distributed the loot. Uh, we've leveled up, we've distributed loot, we've added NPCs. We've completed our mission. It's now about 9.30. We all <laughs> That's pretty good. We all go to the oh. tavern, we have a drink, and we live our lives, yeah, and we know. fast forward, what, like a year, maybe? About a month. I'd say, I'd say about three months. Oh, three months. And somewhere along the line, you, um, you, you did your training, you advanced your levels, uh, you started seeking out new adventure, you got involved with a caravan. You, you got off the island back on the mainland, mm. joined a caravan to uh, travel it's to another so big city. Caravan. And Are we providing the security for the caravan, I assume? No, no, you were just going along for the... Even for, the for, it. Even for level two or level three adventurers, tra crossing a desert is still a major undertaking. That was probably a, a three or four week trip. Huh. And you were accompanying the, the caravan. So we tagged along. Tagging along. Were yeah. we going to... Uh, to visit a new city, something like that. Yeah, you, you heard of some some adventure somewhere. There was so. a okay. doctor that we were looking at. And, and just so you know, uh, during this time, uh, my master Ducat has really enjoyed the role of teacher. He he makes uh, <laughs> Elric do menial tasks, uh, very karate kid esque, <laughs> frustrating the hell out of him. Black and then he lays down a bit of wisdom that, that teaches him something about magic. So I'm basically his his servant right now. I'm going to read the player's background for the benefit of our listeners. And everybody should have already received that in their email. Days ago, your group of adventurers joined a desert caravan. Halfway across the desert, a terrible sandstorm struck, separating your party from the rest of the caravan. When the storm died down, you found you were alone. The caravan was nowhere in sight. The desert was unrecognizable as the dunes had been blown into new patterns. You were lost. You headed east the same way the caravan was headed, before the storm. Days passed, your mounts died, and you soon drank the last of your water. The end of the desert was not in sight. Not trigger. Oh, trigger. <laughs> Mine was named Puss in Boots. The second day after your water ran out, you stumbled upon a number of stone blocks sticking out of a sand dune. The investigation showed that the sand covered the remains of a tall stone wall. On the other side of the stone wall was a ruined city. The stone blocks of the city had toppled and cracked with the passing of time. Sand had covered most of the buildings. The stones that remained uncovered had been scoured smooth by the blowing sands. In the center of the city towered a step pyramid. It had five step-like tiers, each 20 feet high. The bottommost tier was almost completely covered with sand. On top of the highest tier were three 30-foot tall statues. The statue on the left was of a strong, bearded man holding a balance in one hand and a lightning bolt in the other. The middle statue was of a winged child with two snakes twined about its body. The child held a wand in one hand and a ha handful of coins in the other. The statue on the right was of a beautiful woman. In her hand she held a sheaf of wheat and a sword. On the south side of the pyramid, a ramp with stairs led from the ground to the top of the highest tier. A quick search of the ruins revealed no source of food or water, so you decided to climb the pyramid. In the side of the ramp, level with the floor on the top tier, you found a secret door. Oh, and just so everybody who's listening knows, I am physically sitting on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> and I am not sitting however many thousands of miles away. It's pretty awesome. Welcome back, Mike. Brief, however brief, however it, brief is. it is. 
not remote for all the remote listeners. Exactly. So for everybody who's listening remotely, I am not remote. <laughs> I assume one of our elves found the... Uh, I was just going to say, that we found the, the secret door was found because of this guy. <coughs> right. So what, you, have you, what have you got over there? Uh, the there's a secret door. Uh, the way I'm understanding things, you're going to need to map. Uh, we are up. But, Josh, crack paper. but mapping will not be terribly, terribly okay. hard because this is a step pyramid. That means we pretty much everything have ultimately is going to be a square. And we're at the top oh. level, so we're at the yep. top of the you're pyramid? On, you're at the, even to the top, the fifth level of the pyramid. Okay. So there's five levels, and you're at the and short the the small, small there's, five, there's five above the ground. The way I said there was one more that was at the level possibly of the... Possibly. And who knows, it's almost entirely covered in... It could go underneath, too. Yeah. So I will be well, I rolling... Well, it does, because we might find some, some water down there. We'll at least get out of the shade. I can create water, though. Blistering sun. I can create water, though. Can you create food? No, but I can purify if I work hard. So we only have... So if we eat and then... You could go without street. food for like a week, dude. Yeah, but you can't go without Not my elf. I mean, I could. Not my elf. Three days. <laughs> you're, you're, you're two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the dwarf with his constitution could last about seven days, but the rest of us, we're looking now, at three days. We have two different summer. people, two new people in the party. Do you want them to be associated with you or to have been two people that were unassociated with you in the caravan that managed to... Ashley's associated with, with us. Yes, she's very well associated with me. Well, she's what? my sister. Oh, Ashley's your sister? She's not mine. <laughs> she's my kid sister. Yes. So we sister. have a, a kid sister fighter, and Ashley. And Kalar. And the other one was in the caravan? Just as yeah, well, yeah, well, we could just throw Kalar as one of the survivors we found in the caravan. We could say LD knew her. Sure. So we'll leave. She's a half hour before she knew her. Knew her. Knew her. So as far as finding <laughs> secret doors, the elves have the ability to... Pretty much just walk past them and find them. Well, they, 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 uh, they may the wear them as, as a racial... Bonus. Yeah, I was yes. walking around up there, and the spidey set started tingling. If any other secret door or trap searching, you're going to have to tell me that you're doing it. Okay. Uh, but do it? keep in mind... Yeah, elves, elves, elves have that passively. It's like it one increases in, if they do it actively. It's for, 50%, right? For finding traps as well as finding Not secret traps, doors. traps, just secret doors. Although dwarves have passive abilities for certain kinds of traps underground. So I'll be checking their passive abilities okay. myself. Oh, Sounds good. But otherwise, yeah. you're going to have to do the searching. But one out of six passively, two out of six actively for finding secret doors. Right. I don't want to make a lot of assumptions when you're in a dungeon. Door. Yeah, no, that's as fine. As far I mean, as how you're doing, I, I'm not going to assume that you're looking at every wall or. I'll, I'll make sure that LD, right? I'll make sure that LD tells you what he's what he's actively doing. But, but I think we can say from a, from a thief perspective. I mean, from a, from an elf from his elf perspective. You know, the secret door thing is kind of there. But I don't want you guys to get bogged so. down in, in those details yeah. either. Just tell me you're looking for secret doors will be sufficient. For, you don't have to say on the north wall, the south wall, the east okay. wall. For the record, the dwarf over there can detect traps involving pits, falling blocks, and other stonework. 50% probability. Wow. Is that and it actually says D4, score 1 to 2, or D6, score 1 to 3. <laughs> <laughs> so you what mean, if I wanted to do all D8? <laughs> so that, right. that would be Eldane, Kalar, and Ephron. Yes. Right. Those are those are the those elves. Those are the elves. Why just wrote was dwarf? Says Jeff. That so would be Jeff is the darker. So right. you're not entirely useless. So you're good at finding the traps and. And then Eldane obviously locks. has. Okay. Um, the pits. Forty percent finding the little traps. Rocks. The pits. So why can't you find the structures or something? Extra rocks at all of us, or a lack of rocks. The problem is too many rocks are not enough. Yeah. It's definitely faster in, in map tools. Oh, well, 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 that's right. Map we're tools. looking at the map tool master over here. <clears throat> I mean, I haven't done map tools in like two years. I, 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 we can just draw boxes on the screen and paint. That's that's rather than get our craft paper and try to do it, we'll just draw it on the big TV. Then everybody can see. So right now your okay. priority is to find food and water. Yes. If you don't find any soon, you're going to start suffering some, some negative bonuses. And then you're going to die. Yep. Yes. Although we do have a cleric who can, two clerics who can summon water. It's the food that's really the challenge, I think. That but cat is starting to look pretty good. Yeah, don't you dare. Mephistopheles is off limits. That, now, that's a spell that you have. Yeah, right? it's not a real yeah. cat. So, so keep in mind, you'll be able to use it once. Before well, you, is it real Before you have to uh, pray again. But for a level one spell, you pray for 15 minutes and you can get it back. Memorize. Memorize, yeah. You're not you're a cleric. mage. No, it's a cleric spell. Create find a familiar? Oh, no, I thought find familiar. No, find familiar is permanent. But you were talking about water. Oh, they were talking about the cat. Sorry. Uh, that's okay. Your TV has channels of the music? 
Who's that guy? <laughs> Super Bowl. Oh, oh my God. He is freaking. Oh my God. Godfrey. Yeah, he's hysterical. Yes. By the way, the statues. No, I'm not into him. What All right. race? Yeah, did we before we go before we go into the Sydney Bernstein? Bernstein? What race are the statues? The what? Joel. It's a Sydney Bernstein. Beverly Hills Cop. Oh. The Beverly Hills Cop too. The statues. Yeah, what race right. are they? Are they human? The statues. Uh, really? They were the statues that <laughs> I read in the um, I know. Background. What race are they? What the race are they? Of are they human? Are they elven? Yeah, they're human. Okay. Three. And then are the coins in his hands age and coins, <laughs> or are they like molded into his hands? <laughs> the other one's got a they're, on yeah, part of the statue. <laughs> part of the statue. Okay. They're not. They're, they're not real coins. coins. They're just molded in. This. Correct. But, um, Mike, Mike actually smelled those on yes. his hand. Are the statues made out of what? are the statues? What material are the statues made out of? They are they made out of uh, I guess a, a precious metal, regular metal, stone? They're metallic, Pro metallic? probably oh. bronze. Bronze. Do they move at all? If you pull an arm, uh, turn a head, just to see if any of them twist like a lever to another door or anything like that? Well, you you can't get to them. They are on They're, top of the top tier, which uh, is twenty. Uh, all the tiers are twenty feet high. Okay. You were able to right. get from the bottom there. to the top because there was a oh, set right. of stairs. Okay. You oh. weren't climbing the tiers. Okay. So and my, there's not stairs going up to the statue. The statues, stairs okay. go up to the, there, the top yeah. tier. So yeah. it's like a, a sheer climb to get, to get up to the statue. Yeah, my climb right. walls is like okay. And if I wanted to drop down I'm to like a secondary tier, but if I'm on the stairs, can I just step off a stair onto a tier? Do they pass each tier as you go up? Yeah, you so can do that. You, so you can walk in and explore all the tiers yeah, using the ramp. But our beginning assumption was you've already done that looking for food and water and, okay. and could not locate any. Right. And you did not secret, locate any way entrances off, either. Worked our way out then. When we yeah. found the secret door, did we find it by opening it? Or do we have yet to open the door? Oh, well, when we're ready, we'll get to that. All right. Are we ready? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're obviously Josh, going in the secret door. Draw a five-tiered pyramid with a slanting stairs that go uh, from the first up to the fourth. And then bury the bottom in the sand. There's three <laughs> statues on the top tier, each about the top, of the top tier. Top of the top, about 30 feet tall. All right, I'm not drawing that stuff. When we, get, when we actually open the door, we open a door, and then we go. Yeah. The slab of stone that hid the secret entrance to the pyramid is now held open by the dead body of a hobgoblin. Oh, I speak that. The body has a large, large crossbow bolt dead. sunken deep into its chest. The hobgoblin has been dead several weeks. Do we still have that crossbow? You had the crossbow, didn't you? Yeah, he does. Now we got another bolt for the crossbow. We have two. Yeah. Uh, we searched the body. Yep. Careful, careful. Yep. They're, they're, they clearly got killed by a trap. Okay, something not me search the body, because I'm Brad Geely. Perhaps we should have that phrase okay. search. So Eldane, Eldane will Eldane. Check, check, the, check the doorway now that it's open. Okay. Checking, right. Actively checking the door for an additional trap. Did it look like... Guessing the hobgoblin triggered the trap? Yeah. There is a 30-foot passageway going east and then turning to the north. Uh, the the hobgoblin body is pretty well... Um, Deteriorated, yeah, decayed. Desiccated. So there's nothing of any value yeah, on it. No, 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 no. The jerky. Possessions. The, I've got um, one jerky. The bolt is probably useless. It's yeah, it's, it's probably it's, it's impure. It, the bolts yeah, are actually probably fine. rotted at this point inside of them. The um, so beyond the stone slab is a 10 foot wide passage. Uh, yeah, 30, 30 feet long, turning to the north. Uh, yeah. At the opposite end of the the hallway, the secret door, you can see a large crossbow pointed at them. It's not loaded. Mm. Anymore. Free crossbow. Let's take it. It's just like The Walking Dead, though. It's no use because we don't have any bullets. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, outside, uh, so Elric will find some fine sand. And, and he's, he's going to fill up uh, <laughs> his, one of his pouches full of fine Pretty sand, fine. which should be enough and spell components for the sleep spell for years. Yeah. Do you have sleep in your list? I do not have sleep. I have magic missile on some server. Right. Okay, so um, I'm assuming uh, Eldane's going to start heading down the corridor. So you're going to step over the body? What, what so do you, what do you, how do you deal with the body? That's cool. holding open the slab of stone. Do you want to split? Why don't we search it quick? Or somebody we search did. Well, we, we, already did. Searched we searched it. it. There's nothing on them. Well, and the bolt, leave it in the doorway? The bolt is right. Open for us. Well, that's what I was going to say. I, I'm actually kind of thinking I'm okay with leaving it in the doorway. There kind it is. Of, 
You guys don't want to bury or anything, right? You no. clerics, like, were... It's a creature of evil. It's it a hobgoblin. no such honors. I'm no, sure no, there's, there's no really woods to bury it in here. You guys, you guys are funny that way. Okay. <laughs> it's taken many lives in its time. I'm sure it hasn't buried any of those that it took. Eldine what acquired a ten-foot staff, how about, how about which he did not have in the last adventure. <laughs> Um, specifically because he thought it would be useful walking through the desert. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Yeah. Walking through the hall. Yeah, there, is there are pre rolled characters here with uh, equipment. System. And one of them does have a 10 foot pole. <laughs> there you go. So perfect with a 10 foot pole. Um, <coughs> so we are. So Eldane is going to start heading down the hall um, using I'm his, using his elvish, elvishness. So you're going to? I am behind him. I think we all kind of get in the doorway out of the sun. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get out of the sun. Get in there. I, 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 I check. I check the first. I check the first eight or ten feet. Yeah. Then I can bring everybody in. Under my okay. armor. Are there and any then once uh, we're in, footprints in the sand? Do we see a sign yeah. that other people have walked in aside from any? The passage floor is covered with dust. Several pairs of footprints can be seen leaning inward. Uh, so the none leading out back out though. No. So, so this, how, how the god how the god will get out if there's no feet for the you know? Oh, unless it was just he somebody else out. walked over the de- 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 that that I'm like we're about to do. It seems or, to me that creatures came into this. People could have gotten in beforehand. There could have been four hobgoblins there, but one of them got it. I one, know where the one first one triggered the trap. Oh, the trap, yeah, the trap. For yeah. Sure. yeah. Or the well, first well, guy triggered it. So there's, there's at least three. So there's several more inside. Yes. Can we determine anything about the size or race of creature by the footprints? No. There's. Not even with my super duper rangeriness. There is a lot of dust around. <laughs> so it help out. And, and they probably, footprints may be a few weeks old. Tracking. The sand has been blowing in. Yeah. These footprints appear to be a few weeks old. I can tell nothing from them. Okay, so, so there's somebody so walked here. Alvin's going to continue down I the hall. Wish yes. I could exercise. So at the, the corner, at the corner, you can <laughs> see that the uh, passageway sure goes north good, 30 feet good. and ends at the door. Okay. Uh, the door. Uh, uh, so uh, I'll, be, I'll be the ass. What's the light source? Oh, uh, your magic weapons all glow. That's a four. That might be a four-year question. What is the light source? That might be a four-year question. Well, I'm just bringing that up because it's once you turn that corner, my guess is it's going to get pretty dark. <laughs> I have um, a candle. <laughs> I actually have a torch. Why don't we go strip off some of the clothing from the yep. hobgoblin and make some torches? Thank you, God. I have a torch oh. in my pack. Well, let's save those torches for right now. I, I like the idea sure. of... Stripping any clothes or anything on the wall at all? And no. Um, I have a, I have uh, two just oil stone. flasks. Use you, you just idle. Your idle. Perfect. <laughs> I feel like and then you can you can put some cloth around it and then dip it in the petroleum. I mean, if, he, if he's been there a few oh. weeks, he's gonna be so desiccated from the desert. You oh. should be able to pull that thigh bone right out. That should literally come out clean. <laughs> Just yeah. like just for a point. Yep. That should literally be I was the thinking, thing, so we should we just have hobgoblin jerky. That two thigh bones. Wrap the clothes around them. Pour a little uh, oil from our flasks on them, spark them up with our tinder and flint. Well, you would drink it. And we've got two torches, one in the front with me. I'll say, um, Darter, Darter uh, is behind me with one. I don't need it because I can see in the dark. So you're, okay. you're using the corpse of the hobgoblin? Yeah, we're going to use his thigh bones. Or... Is it, uh, is as, it... I, as, I, as I understand, the hobgoblin isn't using the, its own thigh bone anymore. So. Uh, and this is a disturbing question, but I'll ask it anyways. The flesh of the hobgoblin desiccated from the sun and the sand and the heat. It would burn nicely. Is it ed- edible? No. Is it food that we can use? No. Is it, is it food like that we can purify it to use? Do you have purify hobgoblin meat? Purify. Well, I think we have purified food, right? It's purified food and water is a first level. Okay, level. we are talking about eating a hobgoblin. Can we at least? I'd rather eat a horse. Yeah. Let's let's move on. I, I we'll just keep it in mind. There, so if nasty. times get creatures, if times get desperate. <laughs> um, so you come to the door. Yeah. So so <laughs> I'm gonna search that. Search the, 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 the walls. Yeah. I'm gonna say so. Um, as we're going down, I'll, I'll take. So that marching order: Eldane, Kalar. We can see in the dark. I can see. You can dark. see in the dark. I can see decently in the dark. And you can see decently in the dark. So Elric why don't we say that these guys have the torches behind us? I see the dark, I fell. Ashley, see the dark. That's why she's my half. Mm-hmm. Hold it up high. Oh. All right. So, um, I'm half offended by so walking down that second <laughs> corridor, Joel, um, <laughs> checking the walls, uh, yeah. doing my elfy thing as well as my thief thing. You gotta get close enough. And get to the door. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you don't find anything. 
you're at the door. Okay. And then pull. Check the door for traps. I'm looking as Check, well. Does it have a? Is it a knob or is it just on hinges? Is it uh, appear to be locked? Full it's, it's a it's a handle. Just wooden, a handle. Yep. Wooden okay. door. Wooden door. Detect <clears throat> traps. Uh, yeah, I can. I can, we can detect traps on the door if you want. We'll show up with pull. Check for traps first. Again. Mm -hmm. I mean, we do know there was at least one trap door on this dungeon yeah, already. There's, uh, there's no traps detected. Okay. Does the door appear to open in or out? Pull out. Pulls out. Oh. Yeah. Well, Darker, you know a lot about stone. Now, everybody against the door. So the door pulls out. So we're walking down. The door pulls out. Everybody against the left hand wall. We got around the corner. Question, Darker, right, you, you know a lot about stone. Corner corner. How old do you think um, the structure is? Well, they're talking, Joel. All right, can I do a notice check? Sure. Dwarves know these things. I don't know. It could be, it could be in the thousands of years. So. It's pretty old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, maybe maybe right hundreds. Now. Well, we are but it's that's surprising the crossbow still worked. <coughs> so it's it's young enough that, or it was well kept. Yeah. Well produced that it was. A Thanks. Yep. They're gonna. I'm gonna have them wait around yep. the corner. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna be on the left hand side. The door opens out. So if anything triggers when I open it, which I doubt because okay. the footprints go down this way. Um, yep. And through the door, I'm assuming. Okay. You can see those footprints. So I'm gonna open the door, pull out to the. Okay. And then, and then flat then. against the wall, make sure nothing gets sprung. Okay, so nothing eventful happens when you open the door. Great. So I I I, uh, I put Ephraim in the doorway. Sacrificial lamb. No, I'm just kidding. Wait, I'm the ranger. I should be in the rear. You should really be in the rear, actually. Because the, the other ranger's up with me. Yeah, I'll be behind uh, uh, well, Ashley's Ashley. In Ashley's, Ashley. I'll be behind Ashley. You'll be next to Ashley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll keep the dwarf up with I'll keep the dwarf up with the two of us. Okay. And, you know, I'll still I'll I'm gonna stow my shield and I'll have uh, an arrow knocked. Okay. Um so oh, uh, damn it. Using my infravision through the doorway. Okay, the the door will think to a forty foot by forty foot room. Centered on the wall? Forty feet across. Um, another ten feet this way, another twenty feet this way. Okay. So I really ten, should have put a grid up. It's a 10-foot wide hallway. Well, this opens right. to a 40 by 40 foot room. And the hallways, you said 10 feet wide, right? Good. 40, um, that's 30 feet long. 10 and 10 feet wide. wide. Our okay. proportions are going to be slightly off. Yeah, no, that's fine. Where's your grid? Okay. Um, I don't have map tools up here. I would have put there. So I can see all four walls and corners. Um, do I see any doorways? Do I see any doors in this room? Yeah, the, here's a description of the room. The highest tier of the pyramid is a single 40-foot square room. The room smells old and musty. The dust on the floor has been disturbed, though no special details can be made out. Three huge bronze cylinders reach from the floor to the ceiling in the middle of the room. They probably support statues. Yep. In the center of each cylinder facing you at floor level is a bronze door. Each door has a bronze handle that can be used to pull the door open. Okay. Guys, a good sign is it's musty in here. Yeah. That's a sign of water. Yep. So mm -hmm. hopefully water's going to be uh, close by. Why do you think there are cylinders? I mean, there's no point in the statues. But the statues actually. could have been just built on top of the stone of the pyramid. What if there are water pipes holding, like, uh, for yeah. a fountain up on the top? What if, yeah, what if there was so much water flowing here at one point, those statues were actually fountains? Why is Maybe there... they pump the water up through the... Through there's the, some water. Uh, yeah, but it would, you would need a door. Right a door implies that you can walk in. Can you manipulate the statues? Is there like a well, we're, we're going to find out because I'm about to go open one of the doors. Open the middle one. Middle one. Oh, is okay. uh, we're going to go. So, on a, so where's the party? Knowing, knowing, um, Elaine and, and and Kalar are going to go into the room. Okay. Uh, poking with his ten foot pole, he's going to walk himself up. Elric's outside. To He's around the corner and outside. To the, the middle, to the middle uh, pipe door. Do not in there. Joel, oh. Do can, not in there. Can Darter, using his dwarven knowledge, can he figure if, in his intelligence, he said it's dwarf. If this, <laughs> uh, these pipes are below one of the statues from up above. Yeah, I, yeah. You only have to be a dwarf to know that. They, mm -hmm. they pretty well. Yeah, Guys, I think this lines line up line with up. Uh, one of the, one of or all three. Most likely all three. Before we touch anything, I think we should either get everybody in or get everybody except one person out. 
because if the floor moves or something, we want to stay together. If the door closes on you, you might need assistance in opening the door. I'm let's, happy to stand outside. Let's tie everybody together. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what this feels like to me? It feels to me that this is a place of worship, that uh, maybe the high priests would speak through the tubes and it would broadcast their voice through the statue. But there's a door. I mean, they could walk up. In, or we can, maybe we can walk up into the statue. That's what I mean. Or maybe, maybe they decide to, to bring them to go down, too. Or the or statues are rain catchers. And these are the tubes that bring the rain to a cistern. To the door? Well, the, the door so you can do maintenance right. on the tunnels. So, right. uh, is everybody, so, is, so at this point, is everybody coming into the room? No, let's no, let's check now. the door. He's Does it the seem corner. like there's any, any mechanism on the door that will get the door to shut? The door will not stay open unless somebody either holds it open or... All right, somebody take a spike out of the pack and just wedge the door. Or wedge the door. Fine. I'll take, I, 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 I take a spike and throw it back to one of you guys and tell you that... We take one of the crystals and just jam it. We wedge the door open, we all go in the room. You're the one about it. I'm not going in the room. I take one of these jewels with my pile of AC jewels. With my AC-10. Not about AC-10. It's about, it's about hit points at this point. <laughs> you might need to... Okay, so, so, so they wedge the door open. So after the door is wedged open, the Eldane and KLR look at each other and they say, do you hear that? They say, I, I hear it. Do you hear it too? Yep. They call over to Efren. Do you hear that? Efren says, I hear it. I hear it. What does it sound like? You hear what sounds like a, a, a hissing sound. I hear like a, a, hissing a, hiss, sound. a hiss, like a hiss of escaping gas. What do I smell? Does it sound uh, like it's coming from the hallway or from the room? It's in the room. Does it sound like gas or could it also sound like sand? No, it sounds like hissing gas. Eldane says I think it's coming from the corner. Kaylor okay. says well, well, no, I think it's coming from that corner. And, I believe. And Efren's is actually, I think it's coming from that corner. Right, so, so let's go to the fourth corner. So <laughs> at this I'm point, everybody's in there except for our mage. So that means our our torches are in there. So the room is well lit, I'm guessing. I'm looking at the smoke coming off the torches. Is it going in a particular direction? Is it going towards a particular yeah. direction? Uh, due there, to there, a pressure there, differential yes, within the... There, there's enough light in the room with your torches to see that... There's gas leaking from the corners, but it's being sucked out of the open door. So let's move away from the door. No, so we're being safe by having the door wedged. So open. Safe, yeah, we're right now we're not getting gas to death. Oh, okay. Because the door's open, it's getting sucked out and out the. Because all the doors are open. It's the door. creating a vacuum and drawing everything out the front door. Essentially. Gotcha. How so after about a round or two, the, the hissing stops and it sounds like there's no more gas to the okay. panel. How does it? So does it just be so, so when, gas? when you said when you said gas, I mean how it was it literally coming so like we were all right. It's coming from all the different corners. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> So we would. There have been no technological okay. advances Thanks in the past 2,000 years. Okay. I'll keep talking about that door. So uh, <laughs> we assume that that is another trap that the gas was poisonous. And we also assume that this gas could work multiple times every single time somebody triggers it. So behind those corners, there is a type of gas that might be useful to us in the future. Maybe it's magically. Except how do you contain it? Well, it's in a container right now. How do you know that? Because it had to be in a container to be able to... A pressurized container, actually, to be able to push out into the room. It could be such a big container that we can't move it. All right. If I it's a trap that could work multiple times. I know. Do we see the color of the gas? <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you guys. I'm just, I'm, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just I'm pushing the issue. Any, any nozzles? It's, it's such a large container, we can't move it. Let's move on to the center You're building. investigating yeah. the corners? There were little holes in the, in the corners the, on the floor. Hmm. Uh, that, Appears to be where the gas came from. So when we go it. down a level, Give you a potentially we might be able to find something. Yeah, if you use your hair underneath it, break one of those open. All right, can we so find those holes in case we have to get out of here? Well, we've already wedged the door. They're just so. little holes. Mm -hmm. We wedge the door open. So we're going to go back to the center tube. Just use our candles. Center yes. bronze tube. So there's three Not cylinders. The candles, just three three cylinders. cylinders. The how up. big do these? How big around <laughs> Joel? Can I can I estimate these cylinders? Are uh, I mean, obviously big enough for a door, but I mean, are they six foot round, eight foot round, ten foot round? Uh, approximately six feet. Approximately six feet. Okay. Big enough to go in. Big enough for a ladder to be inside. Exactly. There is a door on all. Okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna actively check the middle door for traps. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're saying the middle one? Yes. Okay. Um, you you can you know there's dried blood in front of the cylinder. On the floor? Yeah. Okay. Can we sense how old that blood is? Is it uh, recently coagulated or is it like a stain? 
It's hop goblin blood. So what, does it say? what does it taste like, Jeff? It tastes like copper. <laughs> no, hop goblins are iron. Iron, yeah. I don't know if you're making that up. Or if you <laughs> Mike, have you tapped on the uh, cylinders to see if they sound not, thick? Not, not yet. First, okay. I'm checking the door for traps before I start smacking it with the pole. Yeah, you, you did not find any traps. Okay. I take my pole and I tap the door. Okay, you can hear a little bang, a little echoing. So I can so like a hollow, so it sounds hollow, hollow cylinder. cylinder. I bet you this had religious use. Um, for spokespeople for the statues. Does the door appear to open inward or outward? It pulls outward. Okay, I know that was obvious, but I figured I'd ask it. Why don't we check this? Because it's a cylinder, it shouldn't really open in. What? And the hand, there's a handle. Not and there's a handle, right? There was, there was blood on, as Mike pointed out, there was blood on the center one. I looked at the other ones while he's banging on the walls. Not touching You don't, see, you don't see anything that looks like blood. Or see anything else? Of no so problem. what do you think, like a needle trap on the handle? No, I think it's somebody who got hurt from the crossbow bolt and they press them with down there. Shoot. Well, that's possible. Yeah. I thought I thought we already found the one who got hurt by the crossbow. <laughs> maybe somebody else got hit with it. Maybe they could have gone through one and hit the other one and he didn't make it. Maybe um, I'm letting those. I feel right, like so I'm gonna. Yeah. Those I'm, I'm still that. thinking the time. center one had a trap and it got sprung, and the other two still have traps. Yeah. So well, if the second one got sprung, then we don't have to worry about it. So I'm gonna I'm have everybody actually, stand to the side. Yeah. Okay. And uh, actually, I'm gonna have everybody stand to the door side, so the right side. So that hallway. if, if something, hallway. huh? Yes, go towards the hallway. North, south, east, west, down to the south. Down to the it south. It opens. It opens downward. So the door, the door opens out. I'm assuming. I'm assuming the door is on the south side. South, south. Yeah, the doors are on the south side, yep. opening to the south. Yeah, because when we walked in the room, we were able to see the doors. So they're on the south side. So I'm gonna have everybody stand to the, oh, the southeast corner. Ellen, back side? outside the room. No, the room. southeast corner, so that if okay. we needed to get out of the out of the room, we can make a run for it. And then I open the door. I'm protecting Ashley. Slowly. Right. You're behind the door? I'm behind the door. I'm opening the door <laughs> behind the door. All right, <laughs> which one? The middle one? The middle one. The one with the okay. blood. I'm never letting my Joel said he didn't, want to, he didn't want to beat every detail to death, so I... The door, the door opens. It's a, a cylinder, a hollow cylinder. You see a ladder going both up and down. Okay. So there's a ladder that goes Where up. Where does this ladder go? Okay. It goes up. <laughs> it goes up. I shine my flashlight down there. Yeah, I shine my flashlight. Um, I have a flashlight. So I, uh, I, I, I carefully poke my head into the doorway, not climbing on the ladder or anything, okay. just, and then I look up. Well, with your eyesight, it appears that um, it goes up, it can go up, up. 20, 20, 30, 40 feet up. Okay. Uh, up, most likely into one of the statues. That okay, that's what I was say. So it looks like it goes up into the statue. Right. Is, okay. Do we see any light coming in from up above? No. Okay. You, okay. Looking down, it, it I mean, it goes down at least uh, 20 or 30 feet, and you can make out a faint light down there. A faint light down there? Okay. I mean, I was going to cast light on the coin and drop it down there, but I didn't do that. Yeah. Okay. Do you have, do you have um, right that'll take 15 minutes. Joel, quickly, I'm going gonna, gonna to do the exact same procedure for the other two. Okay. You, you sense that there is a trap on the door on the uh, western cylinder. Okay. So um, I think they're all trapped, and somebody triggered the center. Yeah, that, that's that's. Yeah, I, I, I would too. think if you open it from the back. That's, that's why when I saw the blood, I wasn't too worried. But, um, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna leave that. Yeah, there's no, it doesn't seem like there's a reason for us. No, I mean at at this point, well, my guess we'll, is we'll let Mike disarm those traps and get the XP. We're, when we go down, yeah. When we go down to the bottom, we'll be able to see if the other ones. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Assuming, the assuming they all end in the same place. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Um, we'll, we'll find out when we get down the first one. I think at this, so, so the other door is okay. I open, yeah, I open the, the so the, the middle one and the right one are open. Oh, you opened the, I thought you opened the one we left. Left is where you saw the trap. Okay. You opened the middle one. I opened the middle one. So and the, the right three, one. Three. Was this because you didn't find any traps or anything? No. Okay, all right. Um, Ooh, a lot of do you guys want the other door? You want the one that I didn't find a trap on open? That's a lot. Do you, want to, do, you want to, do you want to investigate that before we go up yeah, or down one of these? I, I think we're good with these two. Let's not risk anything. Let's see if we've got inside that statue and then go down. All right. So, so do we want to tie them shut? We're in the traditional county area. <laughs> Put a rope around the cylinder and tie the two shut. <laughs> oh, so that they can, nobody can get out if they climb back up? Well, then that could hurt us in the long run. If we, we have to beat it, if we need to run quick. Yeah. That's um, an interesting idea, though. <laughs> all right. I think... I think Joe, I'm gonna I'm gonna go into the middle one. But where are we gonna run? We're gonna go out to the desert. I'm gonna tell everybody to stay here for one second, and I'm gonna go into the middle one. If everybody's cool with this, 
and I'm going to sure go up and, and see what is up first, because that seems to be the shorter of the two distance. Assuming that we all think it goes into the statue, I just want to see kind of, once I get up there, what does it open up to? Like, is it, is it, does it open up into up another room under the statues, no. or does it literally go no, into you, you can the statue? You're, you're going <laughs> in, into the statue. Okay, so I, I can see that without even going up. Yeah. Okay. Just be quiet. Is there a platform up there, or it's just walking like straight up into the hollow of the statue? You you can see uh, the ladder stops eventually, and there appear to be a few levers and, and a tube. Oh, so you can move the statue. You can... uh, and a tube. I bet you you could speak in the tube, and your voice is magnified through the mouth of the Go statue. Go be a uh, but if you do that, just keep in mind whoever is down at the bottom of the stairs might hear you. Well, that might be enough to get them to leave. <laughs> you mean run right. back up through us? Um, I'm going to quickly head up that ladder. Sure. I just want to see kind of what the levers are, as well as the tube. Does it appear that the levers are attached to mechanisms that are attached to the statue? That's your best guess, yeah. Okay. And the tube... Um, is it something that I can follow? Does it appear to go up towards the mouth of the statue or the top of it? Yeah, that's your best guess, yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, but there's no, like, platform or landing. It's just a ladder goes up to yeah, where the these... Yeah, the ladder just, actually just stops when just you're stops right pretty much in the middle of the statue. Okay. And that's where all the levers and everything yeah. are. So, okay. so is it, is so it so the mechanism well maintained, maintained, or is it well past the tape? I'm just trying to help you out. Yeah, I don't want to does, yeah does, it, does it look like it would be operational if we pull the levers? Like it was maintained, or has it been protected with inside the... It, it looks pretty old. It's it, You'd have to try it to see whether it's going to break or not. Let me go outside, and then go ahead. Pull the lever. I don't think I want to do I that. I just want to see the hand wave. I, I'm just going to wave a hand I, wave. I don't think I want to do that. I'm pretty yeah. sure these these are uh, gods of an ancient race. Yeah, so if they're gods, let's leave them alone. Let's go down. Or at least statues Somebody of asked you if you're a god. You say, you say yes. yes. Let, let sleeping gods. Yes, exactly. Die. Yeah. I think we're okay with not messing around with the statues. I think our best bet is... Um, Joel, I want to... I want to open the the door. So I come back down, and I want to open the door uh, for the one, the other one that I thought was not trapped. Okay, the one on the right? Yep, so again, I have everybody stand to the side. I, I, uh, I'm standing to the back of the door, so as I'm pulling the door open... I'm hiding from the from anything. I'm not okay. standing in front of the doorway. Unfortunately, <laughs> as you start to pull the door open, the stone that you're standing on suddenly drops down, and you, as I'm holding onto the doorknob, yeah. if you can so reflex save. Yeah. Dark, if you can make this edition, if you can make both a strength check and a dexterity check at minus three, I'll let you hold on to the door handle. Otherwise, you're going to fall. Okay. How many hit points does he have? How far is he going to fall? I don't know. 30 feet, we assume? If okay, the door so so had gone there, is, you would have Strength is 13, dex is 17. So you want to roll, you get, you know, minus 3, so you got to roll it. So we got to roll it. We have to be super specific on every check. activity we a do. 10 or less? Yes, to make strength check. Uh, you have to roll low. I will be more but, cognizant. Shit, than, how do I do that? And you call yourself a dwarf. Maybe I should use this dice. 50% chance of it. It sounded like he was doing the investigating and everybody was doing it too. Well, I did do the investigating. Orange is strength. The lowest one is strength. Oh, yeah, exactly. The lowest one is strength. I see one digit over there. Six and an eight. Oh, baby. I made a Those are the worst rolls you've rolled in six and a half years. That's because I rolled two together. All right, so. I rushed all I am banging onto the door. So the four is dropped. me? Uh. Uh, Eldane grabbed onto the door handle, not knowing whether it's going to hold or not. And after a moment, the uh, the floor steadily starts coming back moving up. back on the spring back to its spot. Okay. So um, how did the blood get on the other one, assuming it was the same kind of trap? Uh, probably was a different trap. A different trap. Because I'm, um, I'm going to go like, over that first is, one. Is please. the door open now? No. Well, okay. I, I guess it's kind of swinging open a little bit. But you... But um, you can only hold on for a moment, so you're going to have to decide. Oh, you know, I I'm, rush off, I'm off it. You're, 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 oh, so you jump off. Side. I'm off to off the, the side. side. Okay. Yep. So the door is ajar. The floor is back to where it kind of had started. Um, Let's go on an adventure, you said. Let's so cross the desert. It'll be fun, you said. We'll go search there. for the MacGuffin of, of the yep. town. No ladder. Do we see light down at the bottom of it? Oh, are you going over there to look? When when the dwarf goes over there, he he notices the 
you know, you know the, this floor is hinged. There's you guys not see this? Look at the, 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 this is one stone. This looks like a, uh, more of a, more of a granite. This look, come on, guys. Dogger, next time you follow after uh, Eldane and you search for these things. Okay. Let's all agree. I'm going to yeah. smack Eldane. And when you head. find them, say something out loud. In let me freeze that. Dwarf in the let me freeze nice that. I bend thing. down and I smack him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Looking down the chute, does it look like it ends at the same? Same, same, same kind of setup. A long ladder down. There's a faint light at the bottom. But they look the same depth, as far as you can tell. So yeah. it's going from level five. It goes down level. pretty far. So you're. Yeah. I, I'm not sure how far your um, eyesight goes in the dark. It's 40. 30 feet. No, 90, 60 feet. 60 feet. 60 feet, so yeah. that would be roughly. Okay, you, uh, you can tell that the you can tell the ladder ends at the light. Okay. At, uh, probably about 20 or 30 feet down. Okay. What what appears to be the next level of the pyramid, based on how you've seen the tiers of the pyramid. Okay. 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 So it looks like it's about the 20, 30 yeah. feet. Right, just we open level. the third tube from the side. I don't think we the should with go the trap door. I'm not open that, that one. That one I already know. I found a trap. Yeah, but if you, if you if you were down the side of the tube and you opened it, you're not standing in front of it. And then it comes out of the tube, it's not going to hurt you. Well, and I'm standing right on the, the side tube. of this one, then I fell, almost fell through the you, floor. You were standing on the well, side of the tube. Well, yeah, I was trying to... Yeah, I did. I told him, I opened the door. I was opening the door. Try to disarm the trap. Or I, I can try to disarm the trap, I guess. Just look for the trap. Start with. Okay, yeah. I will I will try to use my abilities to help as well. I will look for secret doors. So Darter says, hey, you know what? Over uh, in the west wall, I see a few holes in the in the wall that look like darts will fly out of. Oh, well done, Dart. That's why they call me Dart. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, these are these are perfectly good darts. All right, hold on. So I, I've got the perfect plan. So um, trigger the trap. Darter. Duck down real quick and make then some, some, some bend. darts. We'll plug the holes. Make sure it's the quick drawing kind. Ashley rolls her eyes. She goes over there, stands in front of the holes with her, she her metal shield. <laughs> <laughs> Open the freaking door. <laughs> there could be other darts. That's good. Yeah. We only found darts on that side. What does it say they're not on the other side, too? Guys, these are free darts right here. Just think about <laughs> I it. I know, right? Yeah. I could use some these days. You have four. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Reach what yeah. I have. All right. So Ashley she stands in front of the holes so of her what, shield. So when she opens the door, no, I open the door. She's standing in front of the holes with her shield. So that's always good. 18. What's her strength? Strength 16 is pretty good, though, first. She's no dwarf, mind you. No. No, she's not. <laughs> so you know how She's stronger than the ranger, though. He if know you were one of the three high priests, you would know yeah, that if, he's he's if anybody else tried to impersonate a god. She's wiry. My ranger doesn't have like, to be well, strong. I, like I bet you, you rose through the ranks. So a dart flies out and hits her in the leg below her shield for two damage. <laughs> I love these fights. Yeah. So what's her strength? 16. Same oh, dashed. And I suspect the former high priest gets a plus one to tell the new high priest. But she, she pulls the dart out and gives it to, to Jagat. And then the new high priest knowledge. She pulls the dart out and she gives it to Bob. I now have 41 darts. Thank you, Ashley. It is appreciated. Again, I'm assuming it's and, similar to the door is to yeah, exactly. Pulse it's increase. the same story. <laughs> okay, so same story. So. Um, uh, ladies and the gentlemen, are gonna we have three tubes all appear to be going down to the next level. There's a faint light down there. Um, I say we put one person in each tube, line them up. That's going to be my suggestion as well, that we can at least get three people down there all exactly. at once. Exactly. Not one person again. Not one person down, down there. Kev Lauren says to Ashley, do you two? require healing from the goddess of magic? I'll be fine, thank you. So I think our two fighters should go down, followed by, and those are the third, the ranger? Uh, I think the elf. Uh, I think I think oh, the thief feet. needs to go down on one of them. I mean, you could send the three of those down, the meat monkeys. I mean, that's fine with me. Yeah, okay. fire, fire, thief, fighter. Put the thief in the middle, and then the next two, uh, next three follow up. How many do we have? Seven. We have seven. Two, four, six. We have eight. We have eight. Oh my gosh, we do have eight. Oh, so we have, have, we have three. We have six, three. Seven, we have three NPCs. Yeah, you're right. And the five of us, so we have eight. Um. Uh, so Elric is happy to be uh, among the last two to go down. No problem. Uh, Ashley, Ashley will stay back with him. Oh. Keep an eye on Ashley. Yeah, there we can will, stick, our, stick our priest in the middle with the middle group. There you go. With you. <coughs> <coughs> so this will be Dukat, Kevlorn, and 
Yeah, one of these. Ben Efron. Jesus Christ. E. E. Elric Elfter. Yeah, Adam. Hey, we're still not as bad as the freaking Mach. I think Which we should put big. Darter in the front because he can spot the traps. Well, Dar Darter, 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 me, yeah, and uh, the and Kalar. No, 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 I need to keep an eye on that. That's good. I, I, I want you to announce the third player. All right, fine. And then your your ranger will come uh, down. Okay, all right. Front. All right, so the three of us should go down first. Uh, now, which cylinder and and who's going? The middle. Okay. Oh, boy. Darter's going to go down the middle cylinder. So it's not this too much. If I was cool, I'd have to go. Left or right? I'm going to and just search around to see if the ladder left. looks dirty. Ephraim is going down the left. Same ladder he already went up and down. Oh, I thought it was right. Okay, I thought it was right behind him or yep. in front. Uh, Eldane's going down the, the left, and I'm going down the right. Okay. So, um... I'm going to be checking for traps as I'm moving down. I tell everybody to move slowly. I'm going to be searching for secret doors. Are you planning on going down at, right. at a, at a, the same rate? As, yes. Since since none of you can communicate with the others. Well, we're, we're going well, yeah. to communicate with we the can people watch on the, the top side. We can watch from the top and tell them. Yeah, yes, and they're, they're giving us commands on when to move. You can count the rungs. And in the middle, yes. you have... Because whatever's down there, you're going to hear Three people at the top of the rungs, and if they hear anything, they'll communicate to Elric, and Elric will tell the other two people. Okay. Uh, the, all the ladders appear tight, smooth, and the further down you go, the brighter the light gets. Like Ash, okay. is it a candlelight, or is it a, like a... Like a magical candlelight. Is it light. flickering, or anything? Uh, <laughs> there, there is some, there is some sort of non-flickering glow. Okay. And the, each of the three, you describe the same thing. Okay. We just see a non-flickering glow. I see a non-flickering glow. I, 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 also I suggest you drop the last four feet. Spring that. Or spring our ankles. Does the, le <laughs> does the ladder go to the floor? Yeah, toward, my dexterity? Toward the end of the, yeah. toward the, end of the um, ladder, you see ankles, that it opens up into a room, jump. and the ladder goes down to the floor. Four feet and not my it stops exactly. there. Okay. All right, so um, we're, gonna, we're, we're methodically working our way down. Okay. Um, we get to the last couple of rungs. It opens Still. up, opens up to a room. Okay. Um, do we see each other? Uh, three, the three, of you, um, three of you, three you miraculously appear at the same time, approximately at the same time. Okay. And all three of you see three large beetles that are glowing. I don't see that. Are just sitting there. They probably don't see you. Don't touch the floor. Or they're yeah. sleeping. So they're, they're they're a few feet away from the ladder. Okay. So how big is the room? It's uh, is it forty by forty? Level it's two? another forty by forty room. All right, let's, can I ask? Can I ask one question? No, you just did. Can I assume that that this, that room is the center of the next level, just for my mapping purposes? Yeah. Yeah, as exactly. A ranger, as a ranger, does uh, Efron recognize the type of creature that that might be? Uh, those are fire beetles. Looks like. And Efron, do you know what that is? Me, no. At front, I don't know. Oh, Please help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah, there appear, there appear to be fire beetles down here. They're like, they're sleeping. Hey. What, what, maybe you can tell us what a fire beetle is. So it's the same size room. It's a big fucking beetle that shoots 40 fire. 40 by 40. Yeah, okay. <laughs> does, it have, does it have weaknesses? <laughs> uh, I, 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 I tell the party all the knowledge I know about fire beetles. Thank God I took fire beetle as a way. <laughs> You know, uh, if you want to wait half an hour, Kevlorn can learn uh, speak with animals and talk to them. I would just kill them. Fire beetles are two and a half feet long creatures. You know, they're often found below ground. They're nocturnal, but they may be active underground at any time. They have two glowing glands above their eyes and one near the back of its abdomen. They give off light in a 10 foot radius, and you know that they will continue to glow. From around one to six days after they're removed. I was just going to ask you, I was going to say, we have light source. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking that even before you got to that point. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I give the two of them the look. Like, let's take them out right now. What, I, what look, we I look down? around the rest of the room. I, I don't know if that's a good idea. People clanking around with plate armor coming uh, down there. The room appears to hold lots of spare parts for machinery the from the related to the statues. We'll just line everybody up lots, uh, several large covered clay pots. 
Something like the dip your hand in. I'm thinking I just jump and on the back and, uh, and, and a small foundry. It's not a you see a handle, <laughs> some tongs, hammers. Where's the door? My best there. Which one? It was awesome. There are three doors. <laughs> it was. One on the east wall, 20 feet, 20 feet down. This is, it's a four by four grid. I'm doing my best here. Okay. That's right, we can envision a four by four. There's um, one in the top corner of the west wall, and one at the bottom corner of the west wall. Those are where the three beetles are? Those are three doors. In the oh, the three doors. Okay, the beetles so are all. The beetles are lined up in front of a few feet away from the. Okay. Bomb to the ladders. And there are two of those, right? Three. Three beetles. Do we know if these are ferocious? Are they docile? Can, can, can we tame one as a familiar? You know that they're going to attack you if you bother them. Do we notice any hobgoblin parts around? No. No, you don't see any tracks. I see any other parts of other creatures. I don't know. I say, I say we get, start getting the others coming down. And uh, we take them out and uh, cut off their shiny parts. The only thing I want to mm. keep in mind is just that uh, if you fight the beetles, anything in other rooms might hear the movement. So we might alert our presence to whatever else is. Or we can mind. kill the beetles and get the experience. No, no, no. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm not in favor killing things, don't get me wrong. But we just face the possibility of waking something up. I mean, aside we from also, it's because they the beetles. <laughs> Not to be confused. With all right, we all come down as quietly as we can. So as they're coming down, uh, Eldane moves silently up behind his beetle. Oh, he's going to get a backstab. So it's possible the beetles may hear you. They're just not going to concern yeah. your, themselves with you. <sighs> Adam, are you going to line up a bow shot? or are you gonna I'm going to range. Oh, range. I'm going to range stranger. Yeah. Eldane is ready to jump on the back of the beetle and drive his Dude, uh, not a dragon. <laughs> drive his long sword plus two through the beetle, and the beetle failing like it to the ground. They are insects, right? They're not good creatures. Good aligned people. Uh, only two and a half feet. Bulky object. I should ask yeah. my sword. No, no, you know, like you're jumping on its back. Insects think will have a neutral alignment. Okay. Okay. It's, it's not an intelligent, right? good insect or anything. <laughs> I asked my I asked my longsword if it's a good idea to take out these beetles. Sounds good to me. I like <laughs> this. I, line up I like this sword already. <laughs> I line up a couple with my flail. I was I was designed to kill people and find objects uh, and there's all is your ranger or or objects here. here. I want some combat. Huh? Is your ranger or actually the sword says I want some combat. Uh no, the, well the three of us came down. Right, everybody else is everybody else is, is coming down now, so do you want to wait for us? Um, yo, yeah, yeah, we're going to wait for you guys to get down, and then the three of us will make our initial attacks. Okay, that's Joel. Okay. So we'll everybody's just all down, do everybody's down there. Now. Okay. I'll attack with surprise on the first round. Well, that's what I said, and everybody can go. All right, count it off, Ray. Oh, no. Oh, yo, who's, oh, it's Ray or Ray? Damn it. Three, two, one, get her! <laughs> You're all focusing fire, I assume. Well, I think there's like two of us on each one, right? Plus okay. there's two right. extra. Yeah, whoever. So. We'll, we'll number them one, two, and three. Just yeah. tell me which ones uh, thing yeah. that you attack. Uh, right, to make it to make it easy, I'll take my NPC. You well, can take your NPC. Yeah, you, you want to go first? Why don't we start with Darden from this way? Sure. Yeah, yeah. The three of us would have to go first, and then I guess. Well, I mean, we're all going to be there. So. We're all gonna, that's true. I, I was lined right. up on the second one. Okay. Let's go get him. Harder. Start rolling. Get him. Then I'm going to try to... Uh, flail it. Flail it. <laughs> okay. So the foundry's not hot, is it, Joel? What's your strength? No, it's not lit. 17. So you got a plus... Is mistake. it a plus 2 to hit or a plus 1 to hit? Plus 1 to hit. No. And then you add 3... Uh, add 2 more, rather, from your flail. So, so your, your, your net plus is plus 3. What's that? We're supposed to be in dire streets. So we don't know what the AC is. Forward. He's not oh, going to tell us right away. All yeah, right, I'll this, roll. this could be a food source. I get this plus 3. Yep, exactly. 22. Ooh. That, that's a hit. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well done. You almost got a natural 20. Okay, damage. And, and this plus 2 plus my 1. And okay. I assume this is a small or medium creature. Mm -hmm. Do you add strength damage to a bow? No. Mm, a composite bow. That's right. Four damage. Okay. Five damage. Four. Yeah, I thought about that. I, I had plus I three. I composite bow. 
Yeah, uh, she's, one. She, she's, oh. she's got a composite bow. Oh, right? no, I don't have plus one. Right? On so yeah, I don't one of that. So I'll take the two. the damage, though. Yeah. I can't go anywhere. Ephraim gets two attacks with his bow. He's going to attack Beal number three. Okay. No, number two. I'm attacking number, number two. two. I'm attacking number two. No. Okay, so. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. With your bonuses? With my bonuses. You missed them. So. You get two rolls out or one of the two rolls? So my second arrow. Can't hit the wrong side of the bar. Can't hit the wrong side of the beetle. Well, I don't know. It's, it's kind of dark. Maybe it's a good old line for yeah, it, it misses even more. Okay, two arrows miss. Your arrow gets warped out in the desert. Yes. Uh, Elric, yes. you Ashley still... Ashley the arrow, it's okay. You're I'll just a little more. winded from the arrow. I, I look vulnerable for Ashley. Elric, Elric is used to was wielding he? a... I look vulnerable for Ashley. Girl pair, Now he takes a dinky <laughs> dart out, and he sighs, and he glances over at his master, Ducat. He says, must I use a dart? You could use the dagger or the, or the staff if you'd like. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you, you could grab my staff. I'll use a dagger. Ah, he ah, takes a dagger, a silver throwing dagger. You do throw. You do throw three darts at a time. Oh, then he'll stick but with it, the darts. How many darts do you have? Forty-one. Yeah, but you can get First is a seven. I think that probably. That's a miss. The second is a nineteen. Nineteen. That's a hit. And the third is a seven. That's so a miss. one hit, and it's one d four. And this was against which one? Uh, number two. Okay. Can I borrow a d four from someone? Oh yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, I have one. I have the dart is one to three, Bob. Oh, it's one to three, so one to six divided by two. Six divided by two, three, three points, points of damage. damage. Okay. And I'm down to 38 darts. And, and a miss, say like an arrow missed it, may not mean you just missed it. It might have oh, bounced, bounced off. Oh, it could have off. Yeah. You hit a tough, tough spot. Okay. Well, Kevlar? Kevlar goes, and he uh, strikes with his uh, mace, and he murmurs a few words to the goddess of magic. And he rolls a 10. He has no strength bonuses, so he has a straight, straight so 10. That's no damage. Okay, that's it for Cat Lords. I'm assuming they have an AC of 6 or less. Mm. Or less than 6. Okay, Eldane. Uh, so Eldane is going to backstab. Uh, number 2. Number 2. Why not number 1? Focus fire. Okay. You don't want to let the other guy go first. <coughs> Let your NPC go first and hit number two. Maybe he'll kill it, and then they can backstab. Him okay. So okay. So Kayla will go first. Mm-hmm. She's gonna pull her bow. She gets two shots. Ooh, is she gonna hit short range? Yeah, I don't much. Maybe penalty for medium long range. Oh, she misses on the first one. Seven. That's a miss. Hard hide. Can anybody hit these things that aren't moving? <laughs> well, if they weren't so chitness and care PC, it would be a lot easier. She misses on the second one. Like you feel alright? It's a different character. <laughs> <laughs> you only roll well for one character. I only roll well for one at a time, apparently. Eldane, kill number two, please. Okay. Eldane is going to jump on number two, mm-hmm. driving his daggers uh, in behind the head of okay. the. Don't rupture needle. the glowing pouches. Right. I'm not, not, I'm not rupturing the glowing pouch the, eyes uh, or whatever they are. Stratego infantryman. Do I have to roll for each dagger? Uh, that was, uh, that was about wall. One is the plus one. Uh, wall of force. And wall of one. Is yeah. that a one? No. That's a 12. 12 plus one is 13. That's a mess. That's a mess. Wow, these things got a hell of an armor. No, no, they were expendable. So you send them to find And a 19. That's a hit. Okay, yeah. So he hits with one. But yeah, yeah. I'm just going to roll 2d4, actually. 1d4 times 2. 3 times 6 points of damage. Uh, to which one? Number 2. Okay. And who's left? Number 2 is not dead, huh? No, not, boy. Actually, I'm, I'm going to wait till everybody takes their turn, then I'm... Well, because, we're, because you're, we're all you're doing it simultaneously. Now? Makes sense. Oh, I thought we were getting a surprise round, and then we were going to... We are. We're well, all going we have a surprise once. round. We can't wait to yeah, see Yeah, but, but everybody's essentially and going at once. Yeah. No, oh. that's, that's, yeah. See, that's that's it, yeah. Then if you're all rolling a surprise, we all get bonuses, like of a plus four to hit, right? I could tell you. Yeah. I think surprise grants you a plus four to hit. Oh, I, that's uh, that's news. But I didn't say that they were surprised. Okay. They knew all you right. were there. All right. They just enough. weren't, they were just ignoring you. All right, do I hit number two or another one? I, I would say go for another one. 
All right, number one. Is it dead? Is it dead? We, we don't, don't know. know. Ashley is going to take her long swords, one. number one. We set up all at once, then everybody attacks at the same time. So we don't know if the creature is dead? Well, because this has all happened simultaneously. I'm seeing this as a simultaneous attack. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. So yeah, Ashley. Yeah, that absolutely makes sense. Yeah. Ashley rolls a 15. Oh, who's this? Oh. Ashley level 2 fighter. I think that's a hit. AC um, 5 would be a 15 for her. Oh, that's a mess. You couldn't a come up with a little more bonus. You got her straight? Uh, she has a plus 1 for damage, but no plus 1 to hit. Okay, so... Uh, I got Ducat left. To hit with the it depends on how strong you are. Uh, Ducat will yeah. toss his... Uh, so you can get a bonus to damage, so I have a bonus to hit. His 3 darts. Low enough, if you haven't quite gotten high. Miss. Miss. What is a long for damage? 20. Uh, D8. D8. Okay. What does a 20 get me? Ooh, a crit? Uh, that's a damage. I believe that's, um, I don't know, what's the AC of these things? Double, double damage. <laughs> okay, I so I, 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 get, I get one to three, so I get to... <laughs> Did you crit with a dart? Yes. Got it right in the eye, huh? Apparently so. That's a three and a two, five damage. So that was the number one? Yes. What's a longbow? D6, right? D8. 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 Oh, that's right. Longbow's D8. Yeah. Air, no. No. It's no. A arrow, an arrow is a D6. D6. That's what I thought. That's what it, doesn't matter, the bow, it doesn't matter the bow. doesn't matter which one it is. It doesn't matter right? which bow you have. It's short, long, because combat, so combat. You, you can't do more Cross damage bow. with a longbow than you can with a short bow. You get static <laughs> You get You get distance. Yeah, you so dar yeah, but you Darter and Ducat's Dar 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 attack on the first beetle squashed it, so he's dead. I, I put down a D8 for my long one. Elric and Eldane's attack on the second beetle squashed it, so it's dead. And the third beetle was not attacked. Unmolested, because we're that smart. But, but, um, but he's going to start fighting now, since you've been disturbing it. So now you're going to roll for initiative. Wait, wait. D6. Four. Okay, so the beetle has initiative. The beetle's mad. He's, he's gonna he's gonna go to after uh, one of you guys. I don't know about. Uh, he's going after so Darter. Short... <laughs> I guess that's why you get the plus one on the long one. He gets um, one attack with his. Uh, well, I guess I guess it's a bite attack. He gets seven attacks. And your armor class. Ten attacks. Yeah. Yeah. Bite attack. Two. It's like a beholder. A one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Well, it's got six legs plus yeah. a wand. Plus a, yeah, I know. Plus antennas. Yeah, but, so the Plus beetle some sort of tail thing too, just because yeah. it is one. Get it right. Go ahead, Jeff. I'm going to try to attack him this one. Lay on it. That's not going to get a little polite. Lay on it. Another 19. Another hit. Dead. Six. Ooh. Seven, eight, nine, ten damage. And that's a crushing blow. Wow. Well, it's well, just the beetle wall. Am I allowed to retrieve my darts? Are all three dead? Oh, good. All yes. three are dead. Okay. So I, I try to retrieve my arrows. Congratulations. X I, XP. I retrieve any arrows Excellent. that uh, make mm -hmm. it retrievable. Yep. yep. Kayla retrieves her arrows as well. Uh, Eldane cheats his daggers. Uh, um, inspecting the creep, well, the bodies of these creatures, you well, said that there were these pouches that glowed. Right. Can, three they, be, creature. can they be removed from the, the, the bodies? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, while they're playing around with that, I'm going to make sure that the rest of this room is safe. Uh, it's Make quiet. sure you investigate it's the giants. Open there's, them up when nobody's paying attention. Exactly. There's machinery all over the place. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, there, are, there are sealed pots. Uh, there's a small foundry. The machinery is okay. So it looks like it's a room that's used to maintain the, the statues. Du statues. Ducat wants a pair of tongs from the foundry. Is there a pair of tongs uh, to be found? They're very tongue heavy. Users? That it'd be very you know, practical really? to carry them around. To tongue oh, they're not. They're not like the small, big <laughs> stuff. They're big statues. They're big, 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 oh, big oh, I was pieces of metal. Of I had carried all the statues. That was the issue. Or you would hold like a blade and you'd be hitting a camera. Something that's big that you that you yes. pull into the the fire and pull out onto the anvil. It you can hold guy. it, but it, you really wouldn't have any practical use looks, for it. Uh, I was thinking like a little bit of fire. Yeah, much bigger. Elric cuts out the pods, the three pods from each of the bodies, and then cleans them off. Yep. Okay. And they're, they're glowing. They'll, they'll, so provide, everybody, they'll everybody provide, gets... provide good illumination. Right. So we, have, we should have nine of those? We're three per? Yeah. Right. So, so we take all. Per Can I some more. sinew on one? I'll tie it to my belt. Yeah. Well, I don't and know. Ashley says you should put it on your head. Big <laughs> beacon. 
Oh, I, I I'm sure we can hear you. Um, Joel, while they're while they're playing around with their <laughs> pods, I'm checking the sealed jars. Uh, out of the nine pods, two of them burst open while you were doing the cutting, or they were already damaged from your fight. So you've got seven. Okay. You've got seven remaining that are functional. Which is more than enough. For oh, okay. So one person goes without Kevlar, and the, the cleric is happy to go without it. Well, see, even somebody with infrared vision could go without it. And you said you were checking the pots? Any one of us. Yeah, that's true, too. You were checking the pots? I'm checking the pots. Maybe not good for the thief to have a little um, They pots. have uh, yes. oil in them. They, they appear to have been had the purpose of holding oil. Most of it's evaporated at this point, but there is a little bit left. You can fill up to six flasks. Point of order. Okay, <laughs> anybody, anybody have any flasks they want to fill up with oil? We, we top some, we, need some oil for uh, our Yeah, so I top off. It, it looks like very poor quality oil since it is yeah. hundreds of years old. Yeah. It's evaporating. Yeah. But okay. it's still flammable. Yeah. Hi, guys. Oh, wait, Hi. Night. Hi. Make the look up Friday. Next Friday. Oh, hi. Right. Well, then. What's next Friday? Well, then screw you. Forget that. I uh, heard you have surgery. Oh, my gosh. Are you making... Um, are we only used a little bit out of one you? flask anyway, Joel, so no, we only oh, used yeah, a little bit for the torches, so, done. I mean... Get, get her down. It's not that big deal. Yeah, yeah. Um, the machinery. What does the machinery appear to be? Uh, yeah. Anything useful? Oh. There's spare parts. Like Just spare like parts little. for the... Little are, um, levers, joints, and joints, and, and things for the for the statues. Right. Oh, uh, we also we should cut, cut out a hunk of meat from this thing and let the uh, dwarf taste it. From these. Uh, yeah, these be are these beetles edible? Can they be cooked over an open fire? Oh, well, they're insects. So can so you they, eat insects? Yes. Yeah, they're yeah, really. great source of protein. They're we got awesome, two rangers awesome in our group. They should be able to okay. identify what's edible. Insects are very good. And one day I'll be able to use my ranger skills once again. <laughs> Not that you're better about that. No. But Joel, I looked around the room as well, looking for traps, seeing if I recognize any useful uh, forging. And I will, I will look for hidden doors as well. Me. There are three foot long beetles. What's that about the length of this size of this table, maybe? Yeah. 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 Perfect size. A little bit smaller. I mean, that's that's size. I mean, they're pretty much squashed, so you, you might get a couple bites out of it. All of them, but not nearly enough that's going to satisfy you. A three foot long beetle only provides a couple of bites. Well, because you, you, you guys were squash, them. squashing them with your weapons. Well, I don't know. Well, you had bludgeoning damage. It's 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 bludgeoning a, a, a portion of it was the skeletal the, 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 uh, the skeletal. The, the so glow piece. All the good stuff. Sure, but I have to. It's not like it's a cow that's um, all meat. Yeah, you got to remember they're, no, they're kind of juicy they're bugs. inside. But they're bugs that are three feet long. Even their legs I must be even, as long as my legs. And you've got what six legs per beetle? So there's got to be a, a fair amount of food there. No? Yeah, actually, I would say. I don't that think a beetle's are, leg has any meat on it. Well, I think if you it's cut it open, it's like you open it up like a crab. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but just and actually, wait, hold on a second though. Just because the beetle's three foot long doesn't mean it's six feet tall either. I mean, it's a beetle. They crawl on the ground. So all, the 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 all, the all the intestinal juice has leaked all over the meat. That, that's, that's, that's the other thing. Too. Okay, all right. It provides you a couple well, bites. So. Okay. So everybody gets a couple bites. That seems. Are, a there, are there any useful weird. tools in the foundry? That's no. nine feet of beetle. I mean, maybe some hammers if you need. Bites. If you need yeah. some hammers. Ash is taking a hammer. Ash is taking a hammer. Anything? Any spikes or anything like that? No. Okay. I suggest those of you who started your torches put out the torches. Let's use the glows. I take the anvil. Save our torches. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to drop it on the later. <laughs> you know what? We should take the anvil and put it at the top of the ladder. I was thinking the same. So if anything's fall, because we drop it down on it. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Let's, yeah. let's take the time. Let's to carry an anvil 20, Dwarf, carry 20 feet up the ladder. The ladder. We got no, I went to the rope on it and pull it up. Let's, okay, it's done. We've just done it. Actually, no, All I right. don't. So if, you, if you start I, pulling, it starts swinging, and bang, bang, bang. Man, while they're, so while they're, no, we tie guy ropes to it. You're going to make so much noise. Don't worry about it. we got to block and tackle. We use the ropes in the block mm. attack and we, we well, attach they're, guide they're, ropes. Well, they're playing around. around. You're starving. You don't have the strength to lift a uh, hand. No, we, we had all right, we no. each had a half a bite of beetle. Beetle bites. All right, we got three <laughs> doors. Beetle bites, beetle bites, beetle bites. Have you not watched Survivor? I'm going to check all the like doors for traps. Listen, each of us are getting a bite. Look, listen, and feel, and check the doors for traps. All right, check them here. If at any point you want me to roll a check, you let me know. Okay. There are, you know, there's no traps, there's no slope passages or any more tricky floors. Hidden doors? So just, Where should we go? Just, just three doors. So 
Um, I tell everybody I don't find any traps in the doors. I don't hear anything behind any of the doors. Um, Are the doors well, look like they're made out of the main group, same group's choice. Same old door. Well, gentlemen, uh, we do know that the shape of this level will be a square. And we know it will be slightly bigger than the level that preceded it, now that we're on level four. Let's go right. Yeah. So we know where this room is in relation to the rest of the square. We believe we know. Yeah. So I, I would say that way... The dwarf knows so. exactly. He's on the ground. And it's just like, How far down underground are we, dwarf? We're yeah. down underground. You, wow. you know, I think it's fair to say that wherever you are in this pyramid, the dwarf is going to have a very good sense of... Yeah. Of um, sure. where in relationship to the entire pyramid. Of course, you have to get the dwarf off his iPhone. <laughs> so it is dwarf so we're doing sure that. My kids are okay. I like it. Let's go right. Yeah. Go right. Right. We go right. To the single door. Okay, so the door opens up into a hallway that's forty feet long and turns to both the north and the south. Do the rangers see any tracks? Is it dusty here, just like it was upstairs? Uh there I mean there's some dust, but it's less dusty. Yeah. So Are there the any rangers, cobwebs? No. So the rangers don't see any tracks. And your beetle lights are going to provide sufficient light when you don't see any tracks. I, I, I am the only one without a beetle light. Yes. You see a, you see two doors, one 30 feet down on the north, and one 20 feet down on the south. What are these doors made out of? And what's the floor? Is it the floor and the ceiling and the wall made of stone? Yeah, oh, it's all stone. Okay. Floor, well, ceilings, walls. Doors too? I said the walls were, or the doors were wood. Oh, I'm assuming sorry. they're wood until I decide okay, otherwise. The word, How thicker is the wood? Is it the sort of thing we can break in if we need to? They are very thick. Okay. So it would take a few minutes of bashing to break down the wooden door. Right. Well, they're wooden doors in a stone right temple. Right. Pussy, 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 they could be covered with pine tar, it's toxic. Or always just some of the doors open out into the hallways. Get cancer, they get cancer. There's a hallway, so these are all open out. Years from yeah. Yeah. I guess it could yeah. be a hallway on the other side, too. So. Do we want to poke our heads out the other two doors just to see what's down there? No, but we should peek around the corners before we look yeah, at the Yeah, so we, we peek around the corner. I, I peek around the corner for each. Carefully. I'm with them. No, it's um, your light. Let him go on his own. So I, the north, around. there's a north hallway that goes 50 feet down the ends of the wall. Ends of the wall? Then, and then there's a south, southern hallway that goes down 60 feet, ends at a wall. There's a statue down there, and there's a few doors along the uh, western wall. Okay. So I relay, I relay what I found so to the group. 50 feet, this is 60 what statue feet. Like? What's the statue look like? Oh my Here's god, it's a statue of me. Like walking down Wait, that's a mirror. I'm sorry. <laughs> statue just, right there, Joel? So yep, just okay. exactly. Where are the doors, Joel? I thought it was such ruggedly handsome. Uh, the doors look. are 40 feet and 50 feet down. <laughs> on the inside, on the left side? I don't know. Yeah. And the statue is 60 feet. Oh, yeah, there. there. Josh, you're doing a great job of mapping our uh, quest in yep. MS Paint. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Very impressive. Paint is my new favorite tool to work. Screenshot. Copy in here, cut, paste where I want it, done. So what uh, um, what Eldain sees is you know at the end of the corridor, a glittering statue. The statue appears to be a smaller version of the bearded man wielding a lightning bolt you saw on top of the pyramid. A.K.A. Zeus. Yes. Does he have the scales? Zeus with scales. Yeah. I forget what the scales are. The Lizard, Lizard man. man. Which it the, appears to be made of gold. It appears to be made of gold? Oh, great. We just lost Mikey. Yeah, right uh, now, Mike's there. trying to figure out how to look, carry the statue. He's licking it. Did the traps correspond with the statues? Like, was I'm just thinking if I could get the floor. Like the person with the gold had a poison trap. <laughs> and drag the statue there. We just melted it down with the bars. Like, I don't know. Bars are much easier to carry on the card. Serpent twined around a white. Yeah. Hey, guys. Yeah. We really should start setting a back guard. 
I'm going to uh, check the statue. Is there any... Okay. Uh, are there any secret doors uh, or passages behind it? Does the statue... I'll take that card. Well, unfortunately, the statue is wood, not gold. Oh. Hello. Well, okay. It's I'm... painted with gold paint. Okay. That's me. It's man-sized, and it's firmly set into a heavy stone base. Okay. So it doesn't have any value. Yeah, okay, that's okay. Has, I'm, just, I'm looking move. to see like, if it moves. It doesn't move, and, you don't, door and there are no... Traps or okay. kind of secret doors. It's made out right. of gold, though. No, it's made out of wood painted with gold uh, paint. Do you scream gold, gold color off? paint? Oh, gold. gold it's gold leaf. Uh, uh, unless gold. otherwise stated, Joel actually will take up the rear and like guard okay. the door that we just came through from the, the three yeah. sill of the room. Okay, um, Joel, were there any doors that I noticed to the north corridor? No. Okay, uh, so that just ended in a wall. Everything you see there is everything that. Okay. Yeah, um, I believe that it would be in our best interest to investigate the north wall. I think it would be in our best interest to go through the four doors we have, then investigate the north wall. <clears throat> okay, I'm okay with that too. Yeah, um, let's see the doors. Let let's see the bottom, the south area. Sounds good. By the statue. The two close ones? Um, so, Joel, is, there, is the statue movable at all? Or no, no, it's, no, it's no, heavy no, and no, firmly so set into the... I mean, the floor. Uh, from a design perspective, it seems to me that if I, I was going to burn down the wooden doors, then, and the if, if I were going to build a trap, I would cause the trap to fire from no, the statue as you open up the trap. Kills, kills us time. instantly in 20 years so due to brain damage. Lowers our IQ. Maybe let's we work on the two doors that are in the smaller hallway first. Because it so Jeff reduces grunts. I say we go to this door first. Okay, done. Done. I look for any kind of pit traps. Or rock falls. No, no, we've already established there's no traps on any of these doors or the floor. Yeah, I already You're, checked for that. That's all safe. So. That doesn't mean that you check successfully. Uh, is the door locked? No. In or out? Pulls out. Step to the side, pull the Why door open. Why don't give you a okay. shield? So this so opens. Open the door and hold the shield up in front of you, and then you can just drop the shield. If you this opens to. into a 20 by 20 sure, room. So that bottom door's not it? No. Could we just so, the so this, is, this is the west side of the oh, room. Fine. That's the east side. So right. like that? Yep. The room might once have been the quarters of a cleric, but it looks like it has been abandoned for a long time. It contains musty, dust-covered furniture, a sleeping pallet, a writing desk with a wooden stool, a chest, and a wooden holy symbol that looks like a balance. I search the chest. The chest. We look for traps around the chest. And the desk. Checking for traps. Wait, um, I don't think we should... Should we, we have the uh, chest up the ladder and then dump it? Up? We have Kevlorn look at the holy symbol. See if he knows anything more Where's about it? it. It looks to be a god of the... Sorry, the god. Um, search the desk or the chest for anything. Okay, okay, the, room for traps. the holy symbol is unrecognizable and you do not find anything of value in this room. Kevlorn okay. says, I'm beginning to have a theory that these may be three gods. The one with the balance representing that of balance and neutrality. Perhaps the other two, therefore, are one representing good and the other evil. Well, he also has lightning bolts in his hand, too. Is he balanced in neutrality and justice? Mm -hmm. He's justice. He's justice. Yeah, he's justice. Um, the other had what? Gold and. Are there any. Uh, are, is there any. Coins? No. Rags or cloths or anything that we could you know, rewrap around our torches and in case we need to relight it at some point? He said, it was, he, he said it'd be the last one sword. to six days. Oh, oh, okay. I didn't hear that part. Sorry. So, yeah, forget that idea, books. I guess. <laughs> uh, you don't find any clothing of, okay. of any use. All right, let's check out the, the northern All right, room. so that room's clean. You check the chest in the drawer? Yep, nothing. Yeah. Next, Is next. there paper? Nope, there was nothing. So the northern the door? Northern, yeah, door. going okay. to the other door. Did you open up the so. bed with a knife and look at the bed? Did you slice open we the We looked through the chest. Yeah, right was, there, was there a mattress? No, a sleeping pallet. Sleeping pallet. Okay. We looked at the desk. There was the nothing of any value in there. It was all old abandoned room with a bunch of garbage. Well, well, just, that's just how they all look. Can you smash the chest to see if there's a hidden well, spot bottom or something? Yeah. Uh, sure. I will. Actually, I'll take out my sword and point it at the chest and see if it can locate any objects within the chest hidden. Maybe Let's see, locate objects. I have no idea how the hell it works. No, you gotta, you gotta know the object you're looking for. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. How about food? I'm looking for coins of any monetary value. Hey, uh, Elden, that'll help us when we're storing gems. Eldin, you, you could use that sword to find food for us? Shh. 
Right now well, we're doing more I important things. I'm, I'm feeling quite hungry. The sword, uh, the sword says nothing in here. Nothing in there? Nope. All right, I take the sword and I smash the chest. <laughs> Ow! Sorry. Smash the sword. I was going to say the chest said out. Maybe you should ask the sword where food is. Sword, can you find any food? I gotta name my sword now. Or ask the sword. I can't just ask. I can't just say sword. It may have a name already. Have you considered that? Oh, I speak to the sword and ask him. Do you have a name? Were you created by anybody specific? Did were you given a proper name, or should I refer to you as? Tell us. Yeah. Sure. Did he give you a name? Uh, just called me Assassin's Tool. Assassin's tool. Do you want to give me a name? You can give me a name. I think we should rechristen the sword. I think I think we'll give you a, be, a better name. A little master. Name. Bob. Huh? Master. Ma what? Master. Master. Think the master? sword master. It could be the master sword. I'll be the master. I might name you. Be, you you'll be my servant. I'll be the master. Sword I will name Crystal. you Master Bader. Or you could name the sword sword. Hey, master. Hey, sword. Did you kill? No, no, no! Let's not call him master. Were you the implement that <laughs> sword? Call him sword. He's sword. Not master. Did you kill the uh, Baron and the Baron's? Uh, Actually, player? I think he talks to Elfman. Well, like now the, girls. the no, sword. No, he speaks. It, it's he just speaks a little bit of a whine to you. Oh, I think only um. Oh, I He's hear. attached to Mike, so okay. only Mike can understand. Because it's of the sword. It speaks common. That's right. Okay. You, well, yeah, it could so, speak common telepathically to Mike. Yeah. No, no. Okay. When the I agree. When the sword speaks, everybody who speaks common should be able to understand it. Do you speak common? <laughs> That's right. a downside. Can we go to the other? Yeah, telepathic. We know so much better. It's just me. Maybe I can teach it some other language. It's got an intelligence fourteen. Moving we'll north. We can teach it dragon, so only we can. You know, so that, that the northern door opens into another twenty by twenty room. Twenty north, twenty. Too big? Uh, it's a little big. Yeah. Well, we'll call it good. If you make it any smaller, that, I can't see it. That'll do. That'll do. The room contains an old bed, writing table, chair, and a chest. From the looks of the furniture, the quarters have been long abandoned. From behind the bed come scuffling sounds. Suddenly, you see the head of a large, pale blue lizard with orange spots burst suddenly into view. Do I recognize this with my uh, rangerly abilities? Rangerly, rangerliness. There's two rangers. You're not sure. What about the other rangers? There's Kayla. You know, Kayla. Kayla. We really missed something on this. Why didn't we bring one of the rangers, Rick? <laughs> we did miss this. Um. I I I call friend or foe. It's a loser. <laughs> <laughs> and then I and then I hack at it with my sword. Friend, foe, or dinner? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've went three. When you walk into the room, another lizard drops down on your head. Oh, we forgot to always, head. Look up. always look up. And surprises you. From now on, we always look up. One bus. And, and, and takes a swing at you. Okay, I didn't I'll say walk into the room, room, but okay, sure. All I said was friend or foe from the door, but whatever, I'll walk in the room. I just walk. You said you went and took a swing at him with your sword. No, no, no. I said, so are you friend or foe? And if he says foe, I take, I go swing at him with my sword. Did he respond? He said foe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Way to save your own ass. Hey, we want to kill things. It's a fucking lizard. lizard. That's cool. <laughs> that is kind of cool. I'm going to kill it. <laughs> That's cool. Let's kill it. When it lands on your head, the others recognize it as a gecko. I hate geckos. Mm -hmm. Especially well, the like geico gecko. Insurance. That's kind of action. It's kind of an accident. This gecko's clearly from down south. Down south or down under? Eldin, if you pay me 100 gold, way south, and you happen to get attacked by a purple lizard, I will pay you 200 gold. I'm yeah. about to get attacked by a purple lizard. It, it lands a nice, a nice big bite on you for four damage. Oh, oh damn. Wow. Lizard. But you don't know. That's don't a pretty damn freaking aggressive gecko. It is. So the, the other gecko runs toward the party to join them. To join you in combat, and I'll roll for initiative. Okay. Uh, I got it. Thank you, sir. D6, sir. Six. Oh, Is that good. Roll again. Oh, it's a tie. Oh, tie goes to the runner. Six. All right, you got initiative. <laughs> I will step forward and attack. There's two geckos. The one who's running at me. Not the one on Mike's head. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
We're gonna have to let Mike take when, it. When I say it lands on my head, Joel, uh -huh. approximately how big is it? Like, uh, is it like on, on probably maybe about the size of the Beatles? So three foot gecko just landed on my head. So it kind of knocks it down, crushes it. So, so more than more than two bites worth. Like a lot of food. Then three feet of lizard is a lot of food. We would say. Iguana. It's like an iguana it's size. A giant three foot iguana. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Well, I think you said the size of jewels. <laughs> I really thought he said that. The gecko is a five foot long lizard, colored pale blue and orange. Spots. That's a big lizard. That's, that's, ten, that's a bigger one. That's ten feet of meat. That's, that's, that's going to take forever to cook. <laughs> Probably mostly bone and tissue. Not tissue. Muscle. What are amphibians? Right, it's as big as a cow. It's five feet long. It's as big as a cow. Right, it's, but it's still taller than that. And there's two of them. No. Seriously, it's I will attack them. Much, them. No. It's absolutely massive. With my foot lateral. You know, it just occurred to me okay. though. Jules is way bigger than Karen Hart. 20. <laughs> is she? Well, it's supposed to be five foot even. And I don't get anything special for natural 20s. In the I'm not aware of any bonuses for rolling a 20 yet in AD&D. Uh, &D. I'll check the... I thought you got, double you got double damage. I thought it was double damage. Somebody have the players? I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Show it over there. Oh, seven, okay. seven damage. That had not been doubled if you weren't sure. <laughs> I thought you'd enjoy it. <laughs> okay. I believe that's a DM choice. Actually. Next. Up front. Uh, I'll uh, shoot my bow at the one not on Mike's head. <coughs> well, how, how much you trust me, Mike? <coughs> Bless you. Don't, don't move. I trust you enough. That you, <coughs> you trust me enough to tell me don't shoot a bow at my head. Exactly. I've seen, I've seen Come you. Come on, dude. It's a lot bigger than an apple. Uh, that's a 20. Mm. Seven damage. That's, a bit, that's, a, that's bigger than an apple. Oh, no. I'd let him shoot at it. Absolutely. That's, that seven is not doubled. Okay. Oh, and I get another attack as well. Oh, you do? Yes, because it's a long one. Uh, oh, actually, that 20 was actually a 24. This is a... not. It's a 20 with bonuses. Not a natural. Not a natural 20. And this is one damage. And actually... Uh, yeah. oh, damage? One. I did the, I did the Lina hit. Thanks. <laughs> Ow. Did the impossible shot for one damage. You want to come back to Kevhorn and uh, Elding? Yeah, yeah. Rather, um, uh, Eller. Yeah, come back to us. Okay. <coughs> Elding, Kalar. Okay. Kalar pulls back her bowstring. She gets two shots. I'll She's going to shoot at the one on my head. Ooh. This is your NPC, you know. I know. You know I know one. It's a miss. And then plus, what's your dex? She's got a 16 dex. Plus one. It's only like plus one? Yeah. No. 17 is a plus three. Mm -hmm. It's a huge boost. 17 is actually. Nope, she missed with that one too. Okay. And Maybe I wrote it wrong down because 17 is plus three for that. Are you going to look it up your head finally? Someone needs to look at Maybe that for me. Two. What do you need? I think it's plus two. Oh, yeah, um, it's plus two. I'm gonna when you when it jumped and landed on my head. Oh, it took a bite at you, but it's not sitting on your head. It's on the ground now. Oh, okay, it's on the ground now. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm gonna whack it with. I'm gonna attempt to cut him in half. Cut his head off. Okay. With my plus two longsword. Focus fire. Seventeen is a plus two. The thing's standing next to me. It's a, it also just hit a bit of his, also uh, his fucking shoulder. Dexterity yeah. 17 is a plus two. Plus two. Yeah. So I, I forgot to that two other plus one. 14 plus two is 16. That's a hit. Try to cut a tough with a called shot. It's a minus four. Look at Jeff knows the rules for Savage Worlds. I know. Um, Too bad we're not playing Savage Worlds. Yeah. When it comes to Savage Worlds, it's going to be quoting AD&D rules. Yeah. Well, I know it's last. I just rolled two more points of damage. Row. I got to roll more. Roll it again. Mm. Okay. I was gonna say so, that. I saw you roll the six. By the way, is this cat gonna do anything? Oh, six points of damage plus two sword. Okay. For the moment, I'm keeping uh, Mephistopheles in my backpack. Okay. Just keeping his little head poked out. Uh -huh. If we need him, we can use him. You may want to chase after these lizards. I you may not be able to keep him in your backpack. A five-foot no. lizard versus a 
one foot long cat. I think he stayed in the back. <laughs> okay. And that thing probably, is that, what does she weigh? 12 pounds? Uh, is, am I the last to go? Should I be rolling? And you or me? So we're at Elric and Cat Horn. All right. So Cat Horn strikes with his uh, mace, and he rolls a five, miss. which is a miss. And then it uh, looks like three darts going to, are there the one that's already injured? First dart, miss, with a two. Second dart, 14. No pluses or minuses. And this is, this is, um, this is you? This is me. That's a miss? Yeah. All right. Uh, you don't have any dex bonus. And third dart is a 15. No dex bonus. And that's a miss. Okay. All right, Ashley will He's swing at the one him. that uh, Darver hit already. His hand goes down to his sword, clenches it. Mm -hmm. and then lets it For eight, he's going to be a miss. It's a miss. And uh, Ducat will be oh, his yeah. will be his three darts. No. That's no, because then we would have gotten Divvy up his XP. Eleven? We want him to do that, actually. No, no, no. no XP, is it? Eight. Nope. Eight again. Don't let retire you agony. Right. Quickly, grab your solar guns. <laughs> <laughs> wink, so, wink. So both, both so, the Echoes charge after Darter. We have not determined anything about... Uh, Since he's the only one to hit him. Uh, Other than me, with some heavy damage. Freaking, I'm, I'm whacking my head this awesome. And I have to go after the... Creature with the I get a D8 with the highest, highest, yeah, highest, 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 highest. It's another 14 damage if it is. That includes my. Josh, you looking up rules on the natural 20? I don't think there's a rule here. I think it's a DM. First choice. one misses. It's a D, it's a, it's a, yeah, I was just saying it's a Second DM. One misses. All the DMs I played with, a natural 20, they always gave double damage. Like, I, was, but, I, thought, I thought that was a rule. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. I mean, well, yeah, yeah. I was saying, almost every. Almost every so you, DM you did the I same one that I did? The same one you did for the same one. I think we even have the same one we played. When you ran that one, right? No, you, Josh, you, um, okay, you missed them, right? I missed them. And, and, um, what's her name? So Ashley missed, 14, 15 Ashley 15 missed as well. She, said the second one hit. she rolled the first eight. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. So that was Eldane. So 15 damage so far? Yeah, Eldane hit for six. Apparently, crits don't count for shit. And, they don't. 20 hit for one. doesn't count for crap in this game. You hit for one, also? Oh, no, if I remember right, I think it counts no, for no, um, regardless uh, of whether or not you had any chance. Kaylor, uh, I mean, Kaylor hit one. She hit for one. Okay. Right, so the <coughs> second gecko's in really bad shape, but it's still going to fight. Actually, uh, yeah, geckos don't have one. One. Two. All right, so the geckos go first. And they're fighting. They're pretty mad. With each other? <laughs> ah, ah, one, one's going, one, they're leaving Darter. One's going after Ashley. And one's going after Dukat. And just to confirm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't, don't, doesn't Jeff got have three tigers on him? <laughs> just one quick clarification, Joe. Yes. When I rolled that 15, that would have hit an armor class of 5. So we're saying it has a better AC than 5. Uh, what, who, who rolled the 15? Uh, Elric. He rolled a 14 and a 15. Which would have hit armor class six and five, respectively. Uh, just want to make sure that we're on the same page. It's got a. Do you have a bonus? No bonuses. So my um, chart here it says you need a sixteen for armor class five. Mm -hmm. Are you? What are you looking at for class? Magic user. I have it listed here as a fifteen from the Excel spreadsheet. Maybe I'm. Maybe my Excel it. spreadsheet is wrong. Sorry. Magic user, you're a first level magic user, right? I'm a second level magic user. I'm still the same. same one through same five. Magic, level one through five. For AC5, you need a 16. Okay. Yep. Then this Excel spreadsheet is wrong. Sorry. Sorry. It's okay. You fail. Good try, Bob. I didn't make the Excel spreadsheet. Yeah, sure. So. <laughs> no, but you must do tinkered with it. <laughs> hey, Mrs. Ashley and Ducat. But AC3. Josh and I were having a discussion about how Ducat's AC3? Yeah, Ducat's AC8. You can cast right oh, your AC3 now? I got the AC, the AC3. So you're that both AC3. More fun or less yes. fun than throwing darts? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the bracers, make, it's not like plus three. It makes you have an AC. That's not three. double damage. Oh, did they, I never it, it subtracts three from your AC. Can't so the gecko yeah. takes a bite out of you. The traditionalist will reveal the end Oh, so if his AC was five, yeah. it's now a two. I have a great damage. Ooh, Ooh, so Ducat takes a big kick. Yeah. Like fucking dexterity. Ducat's yeah. down to seven. Because I'm so smart. Is it really right, Darter? Who would want to attack him? Four damage. Oh, uh, the one that's almost dead. It did four damage. I've studied for at least. I'll finish it off. It's not the one that you hit. It's the other one. It's the one next to me. It's one of the barest amount of spells. I'll go after the one that attacked him. A fucking dart. 
I roll the 13. I get plus 2 to hit with the flail. <coughs> plus 1 for my strength. Yep. So I get a 16. That's a hit. Nice job. Watch the damage. Eight damage. Ooh. Okay. And that finishes off two? that gecko. Uh, yeah, well, you rolled a d6 and you got 8. So I'm assuming you rolled a 6. <laughs> roll I mean, 4. Did you have a damage bonus from your strength, too? So oh, wow. Uh, you have okay. plus 4 to damage? Effort? It's, it's a 2 to 7. Oh. Plus the flail, plus strength. Plus the flail, yeah, yeah. yeah. Plus okay. the plus two flail, plus strength. All right, um, I'll shoot my longbow at it. First shot. He needs healing more than anything. Uh, natural 19. It's a hit. Six damage. Yeah. I got hit. You got hit. Ducat got hit before. Okay. How is Ducat in melee? You rolled a 20. Uh, 13. I didn't fight the battle bus. 17 damage. A 17 hit. Sorry. Yeah, and that's a hit. Three damage. Okay, and that finishes off the gecko. Yay! XP bonus. XP. Somebody go get that forge fired up. We need to fry up our geckos. You know, you know it's, it's just about mountain, like one or two mouthfuls. In old school, the rangers, the rangers the immediately get to gutting. That's. I've been doing great. Prepping the geckos. And it's one or two beetles or Sharon, a gecko. Right. Sharon the fight tool. Well, the gecko in the back was eating. The body of a human being. Oh. Ooh, a little carnivore. I've got a little, little can of water. The room contains. The gecko eating. Oh, you yep. it, it had, old, like, very similar to the other room an old bed, writing table, chair, and a chest. Okay, so. It looks long abandoned. Are you the chest? Check the, I, <laughs> check the body that was getting eaten. Uh, it's wearing a mask of some bird like creature. And it's a, a golden mask. Huh. It's solid gold? No, it's inlaid with gold. Oh, okay. We should take it regardless because I want to. We should dress up in it later on. Okay. Oh. So would we be, take the would, we would take the bird mask. Uh, girl. Um, anything else on the body? No. no. Any weapons? No. Just no. That's your treat. Just some very simple clothing. <laughs> Just very simple clothing. Um, check the desk, the chest. There's nothing of value in the room. Okay. Well, there's well, besides those geckos. There's um, two is the, of long geckos that we haven't eaten in two days. Is the bed made out of wood? Yep. We. Start hacking up the bed into firewood. Spit. Yeah, I like it. I think we have to go back to the room yeah, where there's a the the room so we can smoke yeah. out. We have a chimney there. Well, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Well, we have, we'll go back out. We'll start hacking up the bed into firewood. Go back out into the main room. And uh, cook us some gecko. We'll cook set us up, up some gecko. A sand pit. And uh, we'll, we'll cook some dinner. And then we'll try to... We can, we can rest so those that need to heal can get some healing if they need it. Oh, well, talk to, um, talk those to that we need to repay, re, re, repay to recharge their healing mm -hmm. that they just gave out, while the rest of us cook. And we'll cook all the meat, and then we'll dry this it. This is why I love AD. And dude. then we'll turn it into strips, and then we have food for a couple of days at least. Yep, we can dry out the rest of it. Now, here's the question, gentlemen. 17 hours later. If we have all this, well, you know, we have 10 low, feet low, of, low, of gecko, low fire, you know. we may have enough food to try to make it through the desert, but I don't think we have enough water in yet. Well, we uh, water. I think I'm interested to I'm find, find out more about this place. Yeah, I'll oh, yeah. All right. Also, if yeah, we haven't gotten to the loot yet. And you know, at the bottom of every of every temple, there's a shitload of loot. Oh <laughs> well, yeah, top. you're not talking me out of this. Or the top. Oh, no, the just... That's yeah, yeah. I'm being responsible. I am pointing out that we are trapped in a desert. The gecko provide enough food for one meal. What? Really? We got ten. They're lizards, not cows. We're starving too. They're five feet long. And, yeah, the, and they're us. mostly bone and and, okay. and the outer skin is that cool. and scales. Wow! Like when you go well, to the dwarf, dwarf I'm just curious, Joel. If you go to a restaurant and then you order, uh, like have you ever seen the '96? Oh, if you go to KFC, ah. if you go to KFC it's and chicken. you order a bucket of chicken, uh, do you take one bite from the drumstick and then it's it's depleted? Because there's more meat there. But how many chickens <laughs> are in a bucket of chicken? <laughs> I don't. Just, how many legs are hard to buy by two? One. I've just had it. Because there's, there's four legs on every gecko, and every leg on that gecko is bigger than a While they're cooking, you know, if you find five chickens, you're going to be in pretty good shape. <laughs> the tail is going to be big. Come on, hear me. Mike. Yes, of course. Mike, the tail, I would think, is where the, the meat is. The tail is a lot of meat in the tail. Is where the meat That's is. actually where all the meat but is. But like, like if a drumstick of a chicken, yes. and a chicken is tinier than a gecko. A gecko is like an alligator. Gecko is a leg is all a chicken. All the meat is in the tail. The rest of it is really right? just eye yeah. and, and organs. We're, we're talking mean, about let me five that. foot. Yeah. Joel, heal me, Frilly. Joel, the legs are really all you're getting from you. You're not getting it from the body. <laughs> tail. That's all. The tail and the legs. 
That's all you're getting. Maybe if Dard hadn't smashed up the gecko so much, you might have got a little more meat out of them. Go well, back to the sword. You I would jackass. just like to point out that smashing up the gecko is what you need to do in order to cook it. <laughs> it's like if I if I use my knife on a piece of steak, the steak doesn't disappear when I cut the steak. <laughs> but do you use a knife or do you use a tenderizing hammer? You just wear the steak. steak. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. Please, it's okay. If it was as long sword, I'd be with you. I'm just having fun. Right, having let's fun. go back to the, the two small doors. Let's go to the other well, two doors. Is, is there I, anything I, more to be learned from that corpse? How no. long was it there? I think. Well, I think somebody can get stuck getting the fire going. I hit I hit him with my flail of we inevitability. Don't need right? We can send. <laughs> so I got it. Yeah. Say that again. All right, we bully. All right, cooked it up. We eat. Okay, we cooked it up. We eat it. Okay. And I'll go to the next two doors. Happens to the beetles. Tomorrow, two right there. Yeah. And we're so the long story is stop hitting. Wait. Uh, also, there's a human being that's dead. We can also cook up the human. That's enough food. Does the human look like it's a, it's in the same I'm not, deterioration? No, I I I draw the line. Hot fire from above. I draw the line. They've been like the same. It's much fresher. Not Kev Horn said that. Pressure, yeah. like he's been down here for a while. Maybe he came in, so trapped down here. He's pressure. The human human pressure. Human pressure. pressure, which means that there should be footprints from where it walked in the dusty hallway. Do our rangers? We said it wasn't as much dust in there down here, so the, the doors were sealed. But they're still expert trackers. So are they able to see signs of where the human came from or where it went? Maybe expert trackers can see. There's numerous. Footprints. Uh, the the geckos across the room, the walls, all the, or the floors, and the hallways. Would the features see the oh, yeah. expert trackers identify among the footprints? Got the all humans? Uh, gecko tracks. <laughs> and gecko. Looking like an ass in your face. Uh, what's the clothing that the creature, the human, was It was real simple. Very so simple clothing. Oh, I guess that. Okay. In, 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 yeah. We take the mask. Yeah, absolutely. We, we take the mask. We we take the, the clothing because we might be able to. If these are Denzians from below, then we can dress up like them. Denizens. Den Denizens, excuse me. Take the torn and bloodstained clothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No. That will make anything. a great impression if you find another no, semi human. It, it'll just mean that the semi. Like every single semi human has to walk through here and run through traps. And then they come down and they're like, oh my god, I went upstairs. And like 15 things tried to kill me. It was insane. Okay. That's hap that must happen to, to them all the time. To the next the door. Place is full of traps. Which door is the next door? The first one. The first one down the I'm hallway. just thinking, you know, we have, if we take the clothes, Top we have bindings. Yep. We have bandages. We have, we have fuel. Okay. Yeah. Upon opening the door, which you couldn't wait to do, the room contains three <laughs> double bunk beds. Five men are seated on the lower bunks talking. Each man wears iron chain mail over a blue tunic. All wear steel helmets, and each man's face is covered by a golden mask. All their masks are the same. They show a long-haired, bearded man with a stern gaze. Mm. Similar to one upstairs. Yeah. So they're of a different sect. Well, what's the room look like, Joel? Uh, it is a... Close the door. Spike it. 20 <laughs> by 20 <laughs> room. <laughs> or Because we're we not just out of food. Or we just line up in the hallway, and when they come out, we just whack them. Look, what, how Why don't we, we just talk to them? them? Why, Why don't we, we talk to them? them? <laughs> no, let's just kill them. Well, you know, this is the dwarf, the, the evil dwarf. So. Greetings. Food. Greetings. Yeah. Agree. Oh, our, our long lost brothers are here. Come on in. Oh, this Great, is where, where, have you, where have you been? We were lost in the desert on a horse with no name. Mikey, what is your sword? You know what, though? It felt good to be out of the rain. My sword mm. talks. What's the magic ability? Detect invisible, detect, detect objects. invisible, detect objects. Okay. And be smarter than Mike. And be smarter than. It does, it does math better yeah. than Mike. It does. does math better than me. Yeah. <laughs> it's got an intelligence okay. of 14, and I only have a 13. Well, what brings you here today? Calculator. Yeah. Well, well, we, were, we were lost in the desert, and we stumbled upon the. You came from outside. Yes. Gold what desert? How many platforms? I don't remember any desert. Do you remember a desert? I think there's <laughs> there's the desert's outside. Have you been okay, outside Katie, lately? You are clawing. You don't go outside. Out of my leg. We're hoping to find some water. Oh, you water, want some water? Food. Some water, some food? Adam, she's like, they take out some water and food and give it to you. Thank you. Who are you people? Where are you from? We're from the brother. We're the brothers of Gorm. Who is oh, Gorm? Oh. So they're not Gormless. Thank God we found you guys. Oh, thank God you found us. You look pretty thank troubled. Praise is, Gorm. Is, is Gorm the, the, the bearded <laughs> man on your masks? Yeah, that's good. We're all Gorm. Who was Gorm? Was he a, a great leader of your people? We are Gorm. Oh god, one of these conversations. Oh, this is going to be Gorm was great. <laughs> uh, they, 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 they start 
This is babbling incoherently amongst each other. This again. is why I'm not a cleric. It doesn't yeah. seem to be a different language, or they're just babbling. No, it's just babble. Guys, we yes. found this mask around the corner. Who is this? Ooh, who's that? That that's that's a uh, Birdman. That, yeah, that, that's one of the others. You're not one of the others, are you? No, no, we found that there was a, there was a man being eaten by an iguana around the corner. We, we took it off the gecko. Ooh, he wandered around where he shouldn't have been. I guess so. Well, we don't. Hey. Hey guys, That's why you don't go in there. Do, some, do of, some of these rooms are per, very dangerous. Yep. But but they can't. Do these her, guys her, appear um, to be a strong cereal? warriors like us? They gave us food and water. Yeah, we gave you know what? Water. We should tell them we're hungry. Like, oh, we just came in from the desert. We're hungry. What is this water? place that we're in right now? Well, the, we're from the Brotherhood of Gorm. This is where we live. This is this is our part of the kingdom. Are there, a lot, are there a lot of you here, or just you five? Oh, we have others of us. Some of us are here. Some of us are down in the city. What's we we city? want to stay here. Is it, what, what city are you talking about? Is it a city? The, the great underground city, where where most people live. Zork? <laughs> <laughs> that was great in front of our... so, hey, uh, What year is it? Uh, What's the date? It's the, it's seventh, the year of Gork. It's the seven wow. hundredth year of Gork. Yeah, Gork. Well, I just wonder, does it match up to like are they it's, it's, shifted in time somehow? I'm like, kind of. I was hoping they were saying Gork because that's today. delicious when you're on a hike. Gork. Yeah. Gork. We could use that on our, on our. It's fifteen twenty AD. Yeah. We yeah. could have used some Gork. <laughs> are there many of you on? It's how how do you get to the, the city? You well, talk about. You don't have to give me an actual year, Joel. Oh. Does it line up with what we think the time is? No. Okay. No, so they, don't, they, don't, the details. they don't seem to understand the concept of time the same way that you do. And I assume considering they've been living in the they've been living in Gorm. And in I assume Gorm. that their language Gorm's in common is heavily accented, like a or like a group that has been sort of Isolated. sequestered from civilization for a long time. That's, that's a good assumption. Yeah. I look to see if there's any doors in this room. So, so I there, there's two doors. There's one on the south southwest corner and one on the both, both of them on the southwest corner. One on the western wall, one on the southern wall. Do you know anything about the desert? That is guys, guys, let's talk about the city they're talking about. The hell with the desert. Yeah, hello, city. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'd like to see my friends and family someday. We're on the second. Or we could be living in the level. city of Fantabulous. Is this city made of gold? No, there's no there, gold down there. Are there cats city. in the city? I'm just curious. Listen, that's all where, the That's where the others try to, to take over. It's where they try to be the masters, but we're but we're the true faith. Wait, what what others? The bird people, the Usa Magueras people, and the maidens of Manarua. So there's three groups. You guys, well, all of us. We're, we're, we're the real group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Well, clearly, you're the real obviously group. one for each of the three statues. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I'm right. guessing. And we point to the bird. Uh, the, 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 three the bird mask. Uh, Are those? Is that a mask of the Usumagueras, or is that a mask of the maidens, the female, third group, the maidens with the wings? Those are the maidens. Are so the, the bird maidens mask is the maidens. Are the maidens? Are the maidens represented by the boy or the woman? By the woman. I'm just asking. The um, oh, the the god the god of Matarua. Yes. The, the she, Matarua, she, the fighting women. Yes. Is she the one with the with the sheaf of wheat and uh, the sword in her hand? Yes, that would be her. Yep. Does Kevlar recognize the name of that particular deity? No. Does it? Does no. that a description a fighting woman with wheat? Sounds similar to any known in the pantheon of gods. No, no. The Kevlar points out that the um, city was buried in sand. It could be a, a religion that's hundreds of years old that escaped the outer, what, the outer what, world. Why does Gorm hold thunderbolts in a, in, a, in, a, in a balance? Because we're strong warriors, and war is the way of the world. What does the balance? What does the balance represent? The. Uh, the justice of the gods. Ah, I see. The gods are war. War. War leads to justice. Justice results in war. Are you currently at war? With every, with all the others that don't, that aren't true believers. How long has this war continued? <laughs> Generations. It just has. It just is. Is there? We, we haven't been around lately, but when we run into more of us. Gorm. Gorm. Is there a, 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 a password or something we should know for later? Well, you're not Gorm. 
You're not members of Gorm. But we want to be. We believe in Gorm. How do we become there? Are you of lawful alignment and of good standing and, and yes and true? <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> no, Did he just ask us if we're a god? No, I don't think you are. Ask the cleric we, right we there. Tell. I pay my he's, taxes. He's neutral, dude. The cleric. We're all good. We're all except for Dark. We're all good. Yeah. good. And but if you ask not, me, I'm good. I'm yeah, neutral. I may be chaotic. Good is not good kind of enough. Of lawful is the uh, way of our people. Lawful is the way of Gorm. You, uh, we don't have power. You can exist, but you can't join us. Well, you can. Per- no, no, no. Is there any way that we can? Communicate to your people that we, we would like to live in peace with the Gorm, and we certainly would not want to anger the I people have of Gorm. Of no books, history of the world. You can't. You can live. You can. We can coexist. Oh, we can. You just can't be of the true faith. Oh, I thought if we were. Uh, we're heathens. I thought if we were not of the true faith, then we were at war with you. That's not the case. Well, that's good to know because we, we really don't want to be at war with you. Guys. That's not why we're here. No. They're Gorm. We're loyal. We're, we're strong, powerful. We're not afraid to. Defend ourselves. How does one get to the city? Is it hard to get to? We should ask you have to make your, your way through the pyramid. Can't go. Are there any secrets or shortcuts we should know, or you could help us with? Well, you might not. You might not. Say something we should know. About. Are we free to move around, or you can? Is there anything we should know you not can to want, do? Well, you can wander around all you want. Just don't, just don't uh, fight with the, the founders of people Brother of Gorm. But well, you now that we know what you guys Brother look like, we will clearly make sure not to. You did mention, though, that... But if we take out some of the other ones, is there any reward in well, that? Well, wait, you did mention that there were parts that we should be steer clear of. There are parts that you are aware that you, you try to stay away from. Could you show us which are the parts, or tell us which parts? Could you draw us a map? Yeah, that'd be nice. We could have a big party. How about that? That sounds wonderful. But first, we might don't, you answer our question? We don't draw maps. Oh no! So what if we drew a map? Gorm, Could you then us. point? We'd have to ask Gorm. Could you take us down to the city for the party? Oh, we can't do that. It doesn't mean Gormos is a word, but Gorm is not. If Gorm invites you to the party, you'll find your way on your own. Oh. What happens at the party? We celebrate. You get converted. We celebrate. We celebrate being the the great ones, the, cho- the chosen. So, but you did mention there are so like places. Is, is it anything like when you convert to Judaism? Because I'm not a, not just you know. What? Where are the, the ju- places that, that are dangerous? That <laughs> kind of like the Church of Scientology. Can you, can you tell us a few places? Dangerous least? places. Well, yes, like the places with the geckos. You guys knew to stay away from them. You said, "Oh, that person. Well, that's he should have stayed away and stayed on the path." Uh, be careful of the lower levels. Okay. Watch our back. You, you, you need to be. <laughs> You need to be strong warriors. Watch our back. On the lower levels. On the lower levels. <coughs> there are very I'm many evil creatures and monsters down there. Okay. What about traps? Wow. Are there traps wow. that we should be wary of as well? We don't know. We but, we go down to the city. We stay in our designated areas, unless those other warriors try to fight with us. When, when, do you go, when are you going back to the city? When so Gorm tells us the next party. Yeah. Right. Oh, there's not a set, set oh. schedule or anything. What, oh, what do you mean schedules? Well, like like a lot of a lot of religions meet every Sunday. It's not that useful. And and they have a celebration and rejoice. You know every that, Sunday. that that new oh. sect, the Catholics. Right. We, we, the, we worship oh. every we worship every fourth day of the week. Ah, okay. Every fourth day of the week. So so how many days has it been since your last worship? Uh, sixteen. This is like. Yeah, I feel like there's how many days are there in a week? I still feel like there's more to pull out of this. I don't know. I think we should. Well, okay. Killing so so much whatever more. Gorm tells us. We know there's three fractions: Gorm, the maidens, and the ones I can't talk about. Usa Magari. No. Usa Magari. The birdmen. Usa Magari. No, the uh, birdmen are the women. Uh, the maidens are the birdmen. The maiden faction are the birdmen. The, the, the women birdmen. are the bird women. Really? There are men and women within that faction, yeah. but they worship a goddess of... Who's the men don't get. The men are never on top. But, right. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fine in my world, because I'm getting old. What's the name of that freaking life of cleric? They go, they go back to Harper. their... their um, is, is there a man named between each other's. <laughs> What are they doing? In your they're, they're just gibberishing <laughs> between each other's. They're, it's just getting a mighty too. They look like they're really just in a dream world. Okay, could, could be uh, some they, sort of they may not recognize you. Euphoric, druggish, induced 
We should maybe not eat. Is there any hallucination? Oh, we already ate uh, So Guys, you better go through these doors and see what's behind here. Hey, you just be careful. What is behind here? Anything dangerous? Well, that's that, that's our area. You can't you can't go in the one to the west. You can go down to the one to the south and see our friends. Okay. The treasure room is to the west. Did you guys have names? Or we no we. We don't have names. Well, when you you're one of five, two of five, three, got it. One of four, two of four. If you wanted to tell your friend over here, and I point to the one on the left, to, to help you with something, and you wanted to say that I was speaking to your other friend over here, what would you say? Brother, please come over here. To help my other brother? Yes, we're all brothers. But how can you tell each other apart? That is that we don't have to. Episode? XP, man. You don't have to. But what if one you brother is injured and hurt, and, and you need to call for help to say, oh, so my brother with the short black hair is injured, what would you say? Come help our brother. You ask such strange questions. Oh. <laughs> you have such strange answers. Brother, wherefore art thou? We're not strange. We're, we're perfectly normal. Okay. All right, I, I know mean, beast. I, 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 I lean over out. and say, yeah. Probably not a good idea to piss them off unless you want to fight them. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much for your hospitality. Yeah, they, we will come see. We will see you at the celebration. Best of luck. Remember, Gorm is the best. It's all hail Gorm. No, we need, we, need, we need the Gorm. We need hail the Gorm. Gorm. We need we need the Gorm say. You know, there's always you gotta have something. Gorm is good. Gorm is, is good. That, is, Gorm that, is that is that the best word? You know, it's like you know, Gorm is great. <laughs> yeah, so, all right, so we got <laughs> Oh, by the way, what is their arms and armament? Do we have a chance to look them over just in case we have to fight them later? Oh yeah, chain helmets. Yeah, yeah. Did it to chain mail helmets. <coughs> Swords. Um, and they gave us food and water, didn't they? Yes, they, they fed us, and they. How many days worth of food and water did we get? A blueberry meal. One meal. But so now with the gecko, should be should be doing us good now. No, no, the, the gecko is one meal. But so we had two meals in like an hour. <laughs> yeah, but we were really hungry. <laughs> so, so it's well, perfect now. Yeah. So we're not really hungry. Yeah, hung, hunger is not an issue at the moment. Yeah. Neither is thirst. Well, you just keep feeding that cup. And so you can pure it to that guy. Yeah. They 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 all have uh, short swords. Okay. Steel. All right. So they have mastered the creation of steel down here. Are they all dressed the same? Relatively similar. But they all have similar masks. Sure. Right. Old man. Alright, so let's go south since they said that was the okay way to go. Sure. So the southern room opens up into a 20 by 20 room. You know, if we find anything big and bad, we just retreat back to this room and then let them fight the big bad thing. They're not of course. <laughs> the They're room evil. has three That's double bunk beds along the wall. Six yeah. men stand around the room talking. All wear chain mail, armor over blue tunics. Each man well, you, also you wears a steel this. helmet and golden mask. No. The mask looks like a long-haired, bearded man with a stern gaze. No, first he said five. Now this time it's six. Now there's six. See, and there's if we, if we attack the five, the six would have come in. Mm -hmm. And 11 on eight is not good odds for us. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I have a hunch that they're higher level. Hello, so Gorm is the, great. The, the, the tallest, oldest man walks toward you. Greetings. How do I know he's the oldest? Greetings. Gorm is good. Gorm is good. Gorm is great. Are, are you of the faith? Yes. No, you're not. You're, you you look like strangers. We are, we, we, are, is strange. we are here to learn about the faith and I hope to join. Are you of lawful alignment? I am only good. Are any but I hope to be lawful, lawful someday. You're lawful, aren't um, you? Sure. <laughs> we may have to defend them. We are we are lost. Unfortunately, we came in from the desert, and all of our our mounts were killed. All of our friends were, were lost in the storm as well. We find ourselves here with no food and no water. Well, we you need food and water. We can help you. That would be great. Lovely. Yes. It would be appreciated if you had any to spare. We certainly would be grateful. He he looks toward his friends. Now, like they gather on, on enough rations for the, for the six of you, or for the eight of you. Is there any other doors in this room? Uh, there's a door to the west. To the west. Uh, Elric whispers and to the, the door group. out to the hallway. We need to inspect that food before we eat it. Uh -huh. It might put us in a state like their minds. 
be very cautious about eating that food. Let's not eat it until we can purify it. This man seems yeah. to be much more sensible than the others. Just stuck up on food. Of course, that's an underground city. Can you tell us anything about that? The underground cities where all the factions coexist. Faction. So that's the maidens, you guys, and the Quahogs. Who's the Magora? We'll just say the Magi. Okay, the Magi. The Magi. Thank the Magi, you. The, Magi. The, the Maidens, and, and us. And Gorm. The Brotherhood of Are you in peace down there? We coexist. Someday, though, they will come around and realize that Gorm is the, the one true God. Is there any easy way to get down to that city? Well, you are outsiders, so we can't take you down there. Why do you want to go down to the city? Because going back outside of the desert is not appealing. We will die outside, without food, without water to make the journey. Only the resources of a city might we be able to find things that will help us survive the desert. Mounts, perhaps. If, I don't think so. If you were members of the Brotherhood of Gorm, maybe. Mm -hmm. Is there uh, is there any uh, trouble that the Brotherhood of Gorm has currently that, that we could help with, perhaps to earn their trust? What else they do? A quest of sorts. It's not the kitty. It's the furnace. Well, you know, if, if, if you are, if you are willing to spread the word of Gorm to the other factions, we would wholeheartedly spread the word of Gorm. Then, then perhaps we would. Um, sure. We would find I other ways want. to assist you. <laughs> Where exactly does Gorm believe? believe? We believe in justice. We believe in war. So in which we, order? We believe in war and we believe in justice. <laughs> in the order of war. Where are the other factions to be found so that we may spread the word of war? Although they're downstairs, down downstairs. in the next level. They're, no, they're no, not on this level? No. This, this, is, our, level? this is our level. Uh, uh, okay, so it was five levels, top level, and then three, and then the city. So where are the children and the, and the women? Do they all live in the city, the, the women and children of war as well? That's right. Okay, I see there's no need for them to be up here. It's much safer down there for them. Why do you venture up here? Well, we like to know who is coming and who is going, such as yourselves. Do you see a lot of strangers from, from the outside come come within? I think it's time for our celebration. Oh, that's wonderful. Is that, is that down in the city? No. He, he, looks, at, he looks at his... Uh, Watch. The, the other, no, the other men in the room. Look <laughs> at the sun <laughs> and, and they start their babbling again. Hey, can we check out these doors? Is that okay? Yeah, they, they ignore you. All right, so we're going to the west. Oh, uh, this is going to hurt. Hey, where are you guys going? Well, you, we, you, the guys next door said so we were free to wander around and meet everybody in the front, so we, we're going to go that We haven't been there yet. Yeah, but you shouldn't go in there. What, it's, what's, it's dangerous. Oh. oh, dangerous is middle name. Maybe we can try to help you guys out. Dark, danger is it a danger that we can remove? Danger or? mouse. No, I'm sorry. You're not allowed in there. Oh, okay. That's a private room for members of the Brotherhood of Gorm only. Oh, okay. Well, well did you was, escort us in there? Well, it was, nice, it was nice meeting you. Good luck. It was very mm -hmm. nice meeting you. Thank you for the food. He shows the you drink. to the door. Which yeah, one? Back out in the hallway, I guess. Back out to the hallway. That's fine. All right, so now let's search the north hallway for that secret door that Mike has been dying twice. Adam suggested Adam suggested we go back to the north room and then uh, ask for more food because they won't remember us because they're so stoned. And then we just go back and forth. We'll just come back in a couple hours when we're hungry again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or, or switch, if it's it Chinese food, that'll be like an hour. But <laughs> yeah, otherwise, we'll come back for dinner. Great. Now we pissed off all the So do you think that this is magical in nature, or do you, Master, or do you think that this is uh, just a cult? I believe it is more of a cult than anything else. But they seem, their minds are not all there. They're clouded. Yeah. Clouded with their beliefs. That's why you study magic could, instead it, of the gods? It's it kind of like be a psychic influence. Listen, well. in all seriousness, it's like the Mormon church. I no, know. it's like Scientology. <laughs> it's, they're the same. <laughs> they both brainwash you. You do not find any it's traps or secret doors in yeah, the crap. northern walls. Really? Across any of them? The entire hallway. The entire hallway. The entire hallway. The entire hallway. Dead in hallway. I'm testing any, too. Any ism or ology. Well, actually, I think exactly. that makes sense. Uh, Darger, can you confirm that this hallway would be the far eastern portion of the That's why I'm an ist. of the pyramid? So <laughs> really, there can be nothing north or south. He, 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 he confirms that. 
Okay, so there we go. I'm with you on that one. So these are the two corners of the north and south of the square that reach the next level of the pyramid as we go down. Unless there's a secret door out. I don't know. I say we go back into the main room and do the other doors and see what we got. I say the north door. Do you search? Yeah, That's the good. north door is fine. Sounds good. We did search. No, sorry, I missed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah we did. So I get from but it's because, yeah, it, it would go outside anyways. We're on the other side of the well, Unless it was a door to the left. So the north door? Yeah, so the north door opens up and into a hallway that's 40 feet long and turns to the north. Well, it's a square feet. pyramid. Yeah, it's a square pyramid. I bet you on the next level they're all going to be 50 feet. Yeah. Or 60. I think it's 20 feet down, so that means 20 feet out, maybe? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Unless I'm doing my math wrong. I do you would think that that hallway would be the same length so that it would match up with the wall, but maybe not. Unless there's a secret door. There. Are you locked so, away from it? So, just, this, you so know. this is 40 feet long, the room is 40 feet long, and this hallway is 40 feet long. Okay. And so Darter says that that should be the width of the, of the pyramid. Makes okay. sense. And does that end at a dead end as well? So the width of the pyramid at this level is 80 feet. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. No, 40, 40, 40. 120. And it was 120, 120 feet from Maybe the I missed south. something here. No, you're all over. It's right. just a joke. Darters, Darters got it. And that's Pardon me. So 120 north to south, 120 okay. east to west. So there's the definition of our square. So we're getting a good sense of the floor plan right now. It's a square. So does that end to the north, or is that what's that open space? Well, it, no, it just turns to the north. It turns to the north. We have walk down there. Uh, right. Go look, Mikey. Okay, go to the north. Uh, pokey, pokey, pokey. El, both Eldane and Kalar say there's a uh, there's a secret door on, on this southern wall, though. Oh, but I'm a but then they say Jake's by Well, we are going to be in front of you. That's you're you're watching the rear now with. Uh, I'll watch the rear. Right. With uh, with what's um, her name? With, uh, Thirty Shira? feet down. Yeah. No. So right there. Shira. She's so. <laughs> and, secret doors are yellow. <laughs> and doors are yellow. <laughs> this hallway turns north 50 feet and turns oh. to the. To the east. Hmm. Ashley. That's it, Ashley. I gotta write that down. You wanna do the secret door? You did, it's yellow. No, I mean, do you wanna open it? Yeah, we'll, we'll open it after. Let's just get let Josh, you know, yeah, yeah. Do, his, do, do his drawing thing. And... It's very impressive map making, sir. <laughs> it's not bad. I'm not gonna say it's good. It's, it's, not, bad. it's not bad. Can yeah. I suggest you do a final save as, just with the off chance that it all gets deleted somehow? Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, it kind of reminds me of a very bad joke. All right, so Basically, walking up to the corner, six, taking so a turn. So this hallway goes down 60 <laughs> feet and turns to the south, <laughs> and there's a doorway on the southern wall, 30 feet. 30 60 feet, feet. You should put it like right here, then, right, Joel? About halfway through that room? Halfway through the room, right. There you go. There's a doorway there. You have 30 feet. Where's the reflection of that laser pointer going right now? Is anybody? It's that yeah, over there somewhere. Or it this, might be going like right here because a lot of times reflects. I can. Do oh, does it have a reflecting? This reflects? How yeah, this it reflect? reflects off the TV. Right there, oh, yeah, I get that in my eyes all the yeah. time. I thought I saw it. It's not in my And this turns to the south. Isn't that a weird thing? I didn't realize it reflected off the television as well. Because I, I think yeah, Adam's got that in the face. So, <laughs> many times. assuming you're, you're continuing exploring the hallway, it, it goes south 30 feet, turns to the east again. Sorry. And all still made of stone, obviously. Except so for the doors, they're made of wood. Right. Can't find There's it all, and then the man turns to the east, 40 feet. Uh, right, so that re reaches that corner. Then turns north, a 30-foot hallway that ends. There's a doorway here, 20 feet down. This is so much better than mapping the And floor. there's a hall, yeah. a doorway right in the middle of this corridor there. Oh, the Jews aren't doing anything. <laughs> but it is better than. <laughs> so there's three doorways. Okay. And, the, and the secret door. Got it. I vote for the secret door. Oh, let's go for the good stuff. Look at that. There's three pots at the end of this hallway. Is this the restroom? Okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna look for traps. He's not know how to use the three pots. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna investigate the three pots. Yeah. I do have map tools on here. Damn it! You got map tools on here? I was I gonna say, how do you not have map tools? There's on here? there's no traps. There's no okay. slow passages. They all were committed though. What do the pots appear to be made of? Are they similar to the um, pots in the big room? They're pottery. They held the oil. Four feet. 
four foot tall pottery jars. Okay, are they sealed? No. They feel like open, open top? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> this feels like those wicker baskets. <clears throat> Hold on a second. With snakes. Bob sticks his arm in there. <laughs> <laughs> different character. Oh, sorry. Right. right. We listen. Different, different character noises. Yes. Yeah. No. Um, looking into the pots, do we see it? anything? Is there the, liquid solids? The first one is filled up with sand, okay. and the second two are dry and empty. Okay. Should we put out the sand? I believe this should be the sand between all three. All four foot tall. Yeah, that's the um, way to go. Pottery. I equally distribute the sand between all three. All right, I'll take you a couple minutes. Okay. We wait for a secret door to suddenly open. <laughs> I think you should finish emptying out the, the first one so we can see. All yeah. right, so let me listen to the door on the right. <laughs> There's no sound in the door to the right. Mikey, may it open. Okay. We'll check for traps. Check for traps. Open the door if there's no okay. traps. The door opens. The entire floor of the room is covered with green oozing slime. Otherwise, okay. the room appears to be empty. Let's close I, the door. I close the door. Okay. Uh, how about we light a torch and toss it into the slime? How about we just go to another door? Okay. Bob wants easy XP. Why, why waste the torch? Because easy XP. Okay, I'd send Bob back to the main room to get my bone with the... With the no, 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 no. Okay, no, 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 no. We go back to the main room where we cook the iguana. Yeah. We take the... the there's got to be some bits of furniture left in the shoulder. Yeah, just, just let it And then we go back and throw it in there. Yeah, Joel's like, there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it was bad when they did the, the, the Of the pallet bed. Yeah. So we um, broke up. You toss, you toss the fire in there and the, the green slime burns after... Burns up after a few turns. Okay. Is it all gone? It's all gone. We you can back the in, in there. We're looking at. It, uh, we look at the it, ceiling. It's Check an, the ceiling. It's an empty room. So Anything good. on the ceiling? There's nothing on the ceiling. Oh, okay. That's where the black pudding. Looking is. around. Oh, the I was going to say no yeah, secret no. doors. Jelly. Cube. No, no secret doors. Based on our based on our layout of the room, there couldn't be. Yeah. All right, that center door. Well, there couldn't be. Yeah. The, the floor uh, in the floor. I was thinking, yeah, okay, the center was door. Or something because the slime was covering it. Nope. Opening the door, this room seems drier than the rest of the pyramid. In the center of the room are half a dozen small crates. Seated on the crates are nearly a dozen one feet tall winged people. They are talking a strange musical language and laughing merrily. One foot tall? Oh my god, they're fucking pixies. Are they Who pixies? speaks pixie? <laughs> Who speaks pixie? Jeff Dar speaks pixie. The Dar evil dwarf speaks pixie. Oh my god. I'm too loud there, sorry. That figure, sorry. Uh, Evil Dwarf uh, is the one who speaks pixie. Uh, uh, That's hysterical. The speaking to them in pixie. I'd like to hear a Jeff's interpretation of an Evil Dwarf speaking pixie. Go, let's hear it, Jeff. Come on. <laughs> what do you say? <clears throat> what? What? I couldn't hear that. I couldn't hear that. It's got to be a higher pitched. Uh, oh, it's like like dogs, yeah. right? Oh, I see. It borders on. Uh, I mean, since, you, since you speak pixie, you know a little something about pixies. You know that these aren't pixies. They're too big to be pixies. Oh, yeah, they're one foot tall. Pixies are. Oh, big. they're sitting on crates. You said, Joel. Harpies. They're um, yeah. sprites. Who speaks sprite? I what do sprite. sprites speak? Brian. Probably Elvin or Pixie, I guess, right? I say hello and Elvin. Their their language is close enough to Elvin and Pixie that they can understand you, you can understand them. Are sprites uh, Greetings. good natured? Are they lawful? Does Do dark tech align them? Well they 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 just they're goofy. Yeah. Detect the visibility and detect Ooh, so, okay, yeah. so what what are you people doing here? We're getting it out of the sun. We spent a little too much oh, time. That's this a good idea. The sun's terrible. You, you people look like you're in pretty bad shape. We're, we're hungry and thirsty. Do you have any food or more drink to spare? No, no, we don't. Actually, you, you can go ask some of the humans. Uh, suppose you don't need to eat down to the south. Hey, what, so what's the story with this place? We've we heard there's like different groups and they don't get along or they kind of get along or there's a city. Oh, well, there's there's a big city. How do we get there? I don't know. You have to go through the pyramid. We don't go down there. No. Why not? The, the humans go down there. Do we, we like it up here. How long have your people been here? Oh, I don't know. Long time. Oh. How do you we we like can leave if we want, but we like it in here. What's it the, can you tell us what's the crates? Um, no. Can we look? Okay. Thank you. We 
Great. There's um, there's fireworks. Oh, oh there. various sorts of fireworks. Where's the zombies? Roman, Roman candles. Awesome. Skyrockets. Do they have Do they have just the um the ones that you hold and they sparkle in the sparklers? No, no sparklers. I want the Roman candles. Dude, that's a freaking can. Oh yeah. I don't, I don't need no magic missile anymore. Flash power. That is your magic missile. Oh. Strings of small loud firecrackers. I think we all have our packs. Oh, where yeah. are you going with those? Oh, can we take? Did you need oh, these? Oh, did you buy? Did you buy? I'm oh, sorry. Did you buy? We took some of these. Boy, are you gonna? Are you gonna uh, fool everybody? We might. Well, that's yeah. If we need to. That's what we were thinking. Are you gonna before. pretend you're the gods and fool everybody? We might. Oh, would you like to I see wanna, that? I don't know if I want to pretend no. I'm a god just yet, but no. I mean. What do you think? What if we gave you a couple gold pieces for? Would that make it easier for you to part with them? They, they look a little offended at you. I'm oh. sorry. Well, we're very sorry. I'm not trying to offend you. I'm trying to make the deal here. I think we got off on the wrong foot. I don't think we even asked what your names were. Allow me to introduce ourselves. We go around and name all the members of the party. I give them a fake name. So the, the um, how many did I say there were? I don't know I said how many. Six or eight. I tell them my name is... All right, nearly a dozen. So there's ten or twelve of them that, um... Tell them my name is Domicos. <laughs> they, they hop up on the top box and they all put their heads together and think like that. And all of a sudden, um, Darter's pants fall down <laughs> and your cloak falls off and and the boxes topple over and they fly out of the room through a little door that was up there that you couldn't see. I don't care. I pick up my cloak, I put it back on, and uh, I leave the room. We could check have found pockets more information. Maybe. Check my pockets. We have and load up on fireworks. We have some fireworks. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Take Our Roman candy. candles. Moving to the next door. Well, there's not really anywhere to go, huh? Okay. Um. This is like Richard the Lion. This this door it's opens so up into a any difference what's left. thirty foot by thirty foot room. So that, 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 that would go all the way down the hallway. Yeah. This room contains rotting bales of what might be cloth and dusty crates. The room smells like it has been closed off for a long time. This place smells horrible. It smells as though it might have been closed off. There you go, Adam. Does that make you feel better? Oh, that's nice. Nice, Josh. Well done. <laughs> Until we have to. Oh, man. <clears throat> but now, is that okay, Joel, or is there something possible? Oh, you got it. Sorry, Joel, what was the description again for this one? Rotting clothing in bales. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What might be clothes and dusty crates? And it smells horrible. Do it's we want to get a quick search? <laughs> I think yeah. we should. Quick search. Yeah, the crates have rotten food. But there's nothing of value in this room. Oh, come on. That is not even can't have a storage room. Are our rangers able to tell how old the food is? Oh, they're okay. Probably months, at least. Months. At least months old. Not centuries. No. So somebody's been stocking it and then let it go. That's weird. Let it go. Cold never bothered me anyway. Down uh, to the secret door. Yeah, I guess down to the secret door. We search the room. Door. Everybody rolls a search, of course. I yeah, we're searching for secret. I want to search for secret doors in the hallway too, across like from where the pixies were. We did that. We did that. Yeah, no, there's okay. no other secret doors. All right, so now we go to the secret door. Okay, so the, the the door opens fairly easy. Inside the room, you see seven bird-like creatures with long beaks like tubes. A faint glitter catches your eye from the center of the room as the bird-like creatures fly toward you. How big is the room? It is a 20 by 20 room. What's that? Um, the secret door is in the, in the west side of the room. These are not so humans wearing bird masks. There. These are actually bird-like creatures. <coughs> the, 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 the wall. The the wall, wall, the wall it doesn't go all the way over there. Secret door? Uh, you could control the... Slime? Slime. No, I can't because the keyword's over there. Slime. Oh, oh yeah, you could the edit right. undo. I insisted we do it, which I did. Right. right. Yeah, oh, we did. We searched it. Nothing. So, All right, so. Can smack me later. Um, now decide. Do you, you want to fight a battle, Sorry, or do you want to call it quits for the night? Let's fight a battle. Let's close the door. I'll cast bless, and then we'll kill him. How many were there? There were seven. Quickly close the door. If we fall, if we fall back outside the door, can we use the door as a choke point and dispatch them much more easily? That's my. That's my. They are problem. very quick flyers, flying creatures. Let's close the door. I'll cast the west. How big are they? 
Exactly. Did we get a glimpse of what's in the room? Uh, he saw that was a, a 20 by 20 room, and there was a, um, a glitter coming from a big pile in the room. Mike wants in. That goes without saying. Quickly, close the door. I'll cast Bless, then we'll go back in. All right, close, close the door. The door. Okay. Uh, Kev Lauren. Do they look tasty? Murmurs to the god no. of goddess of magic. His hands glow faintly, and the glow then sort of moves from his fingers to each of you, one by one, like Tinkerbell is sitting on your heads. And then Ever you all feel... Ephraim recognizes them as Sturges. Those are Sturges, guys. Oh, Sturges? Let me tell you about Sturges. It sounds bad. They're pretty weak flying creatures. They're pretty try, weak flying creatures. They try to attack you and suck... They attach, attach on you and suck your blood. Try to attach on you and suck your blood. Sounds horrible. So if one of them gets on your arms... Is it I'm going to stay for spell. Huh? Grasshopper. Yes, Master. Perhaps you, should, you should have no problem defeating a seven Sturges. Spell okay. is, we should have no problem defeating the seven Sturges. Never mind. Seems a, it well, seems well, if, if these were, were more formidable creatures, what would be an acceptable solution? Well, I would take my bow, and using two shots at a no, time, I'd take one, then you two. you would not. No, your sword. Don't forget your sword. Well, then I would dispatch the rest with the sword once they came in close. No, no, I wouldn't. Well, I clearly would not cast Detect Magic. So within my spellbook of limited spells, perhaps sleep would be the way to go? Yes, now rub the sand from your own eyes. Let us go oh, there with the specialties. Ah, ah, sand, <laughs> which is the, the, the component of the Oh, I thought it was those petals. Maybe that was it. Master, you will be pleased to know that I took some sand from the desert and I have it in my pouch. Excellent. That's right. more expensive salt than pellets, huh? Huh? All right, so we go in and we, <laughs> we, we have our blast for dogs plus one to hit. Plus gives us all plus one to hit. Uh, plus is plus, plus one to hit. Does it do damage, too? No. Did you roll it again? True. Okay, they get initiative. Oh, boy. That plus three one hit. Watch out, they'll try to suck uh, your blood. So the first know, one's going after plate, Ephraim. I guess my neck. You wait there, Mrs. Almost there. Ephraim. Second one goes after Ephraim. It's attacking me. Misses. Just waiting for him to tell me one's attacking me. Third one's going after a Darter. Misses. At least they're going after the ones clad in plate. Fourth one's going after <laughs> Kev Horn. At least with eight characters. It's hard to say. It's yeah. probably a miss. Uh, just a shovel at the courtyard Mary. It's you driving so the road. He's got a shorter rifle yeah. than you. That's a miss. Yes, okay. This one's going after uh, Albert. Albert. Our AC 10. That's a hit. All week and a half, two weeks? Two weeks, yeah. That's a miss. Up till next Friday. Seriously? Like final next Friday. You so missed an AC of 10? There are only one hit by creatures. Okay. This one's going after Eldane. It's a good thing that's a miss. Oh, nice this one's going after AC. Ashley. That's a miss. Yeah. And Eldane again. That's a miss. Wow. Okay. Well, they didn't roll very well. I there. step forward and try to slash. Are they flying around? Or? Yeah, they're flying. Oh, we had a bet. Flying right. attacks. How, uh, how high is this room? Um, just what do I get from Bless? Plus one to hit. Yeah, yeah, plus one to hit. Plus your... They had, by the way, they had plus two to hit. Ten? Oh, still hit you. Wow. My gosh. I rolled a ten. Uh, Wait, so if you have like plus five to hit it, your right? strength, your flail, and the plus one from the rolls is six. That's a miss. Wow. Wow. Arrow number one, what the hell? Adam's shooting at birds. <laughs> it's very late in this. I'm an elf, what the hell? You mm -hmm. would be doing it upside down uh, while hanging from a rope. 20, natural 20. Okay. Again. Wow. You know, once it's not doing anything, I roll <laughs> like they're nothing. Uh, four damage. Alright, so one falls. And then on my second arrow, you get a plus five. Really. Uh, so it gives me a ten total. You go with the plus five. You go plus five. That's Wait. a miss. So the AC is greater, less than eight. Mm. And I hey, Bob. All right, uh, Kev Lauren uh, strikes forward with his mace, and he does a fifteen. That's a hit. And the mace is one d six, right? No strength bonus. He does two. Okay. And then three darts come in from Elric. What first, is that? First dart is a nine. Oh, ten. Because you got plus. Oh, yeah, you're right. So it's a ten. And the other roll was there for a sixteen. But it, yeah. hit anyway. oh, it hit anyways. Second one is a three. 
The last one is a natural 20. That, that, that hits. And that goes for uh, two. two points of damage. Against the same one? Yeah. Uh, okay, so that one sure. falls. <laughs> Mikey, I'm done. Go so. All right. Uh, we'll do Kayla first. So she's going to pull out her bow. She gets two shots. Nine plus one plus two. Plus one for bless. Plus one for bless. So, 12. That's a hit. Okay. Did, her, the, did the bless help? Would she have yep. lost otherwise? Ooh. And her second... Oh, roll well, your damage. Oh, damage. Yeah, there's okay. two individual hits. Oh, that's right. That's right. Sorry. Uh, D6. Yeah. Uh, three, four, five points of damage. Okay, that, that dies. And then her next one, next arrow, is uh, 14. That's a hit. And three, four, five. That dies. And Eldane pulls out his bow. <clears throat> Eldane. Sixteen plus five, twenty-one. That's a hit. And he does two. Three, four, four points of damage. And that dies. Last arrow. And, uh, yeah. Eldane rolls a one. That's a miss. And misses. That arrow breaks, I bet. Kalar? Well, the 20 doesn't count for anything. Kalar already went. I have Ashley. Oh, oh sorry. Ashley, yeah. Ashley will swing her at her. How many are left? There's two left. Ashley will swing her sword. Yeah, it's an automatic miss. It's Natural no two is going to miss. No such consequence. Ducat will throw his three darts for starts. I do Eleven. Too. I, I like this. Like, I really, I That's really think you should like, shock yourself. Twelve. Miss. Yeah. Or like your, your, the bow string breaks. Second dart is worse. Yes. Or the arrow rips Third dart is a sixteen. Hits one of your compadres. You know, something. Two damage. Well damage. Yeah, especially yeah. something like this where there's a whole bunch of people. Oh, yeah. You can easily shoot and get friendly fire. Oh, yeah. That's, why, that's, why I, that's the one thing from from uh, for me that I really like. The crit, and the crit the crit. other two, uh, the other two, the undamaged one, the damaged one, fly off into a, a hole in the, the ceiling, and fly away. Okay. How, how, so how big is that hole in the ceiling? Big enough for Sturgis. Like, <laughs> four foot four is a crock pot. Okay. You can put your arm up there. Interesting. So oh wait a minute! I just made that so bad. That yeah. whole combat took us nine <clears throat> minutes. Yeah, isn't that nice? And, and, and three of those minutes were debating on whether or not we should actually have a combat. Yeah. And we reclaim our darts, those of us who... And arrows. Okay. And any arrows we can reclaim. Search, the Search all the little remains. So there, there's a pile of dust in the middle of the room, and there are four gems there. Tastes like chicken. Spectacular. Tastes Wait, like careful. What if it's some sort of dropping poisonous... All of us get in the hallway, except for my so Four gems. The gems are in a pile of dust? Yeah. Four, all of us get in the okay. hallway, except for... This is no, 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 no damn mileage. <laughs> no Aserac there. So four gems worth 100, 100, 500, and 1,000 gold pieces. 100, 100, 500, and 1,000. The hand and eye of... Who's the we're fighting our first campaign? Oh, who's the lich that is missing a hand and a Vecna. Thank you. I heard an Aserac and I was trying to come up with Vecna for like five minutes now. No Vecna either. That's it? Yep. Uh, and I guess that just leaves the one door south, eh? Yes. I have seriously got to, like... I, think it's I guess time. we are, yeah. You know what? We're probably five minutes away from finishing the level. I've heard that before. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, if you guys want to well, do the five minutes. I don't give five minutes. Why not? Give it a shot. Let's poke, okay. poke our heads in okay. the door. Uh, the, that goes 40 feet to the west and turns south. And Eldane and Kalar north? say, hey, there's a secret door to the north. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how we missed it when we were in the room there, but, we, but I guess we did. That's the same way Darger missed the stone trap. That goes uh, say, 30 feet to the south and turns east, and there's a doorway or a door at the end, at the bottom of the hallway to the south. Right. That 30, goes, 30 feet. So that short. goes 30 feet and turns south again. It's so strange to me. There are warrior... 
clan, which goes and they've 30 never feet at the end of the stars. hallway, and there's a door the on that should line up with that. <coughs> or the Or the beaver. Well, I don't know who's sort of the sprites. Oh, that's that. Door. Where did the hobgoblins go, anyways? The door there and the yeah, door right. there. <laughs> so, but this door is supposed to line up with that door. So we got a lot of our. That's fine. Yeah, that's right. You're pretty close. Um, let's go to the first door. Yeah. Yeah, the corner. The one that's going to go to the, the door door leads inside. There's a staircase that winds downward. Uh, that's our way down to the next down, one. Down, down twenty. Okay. So we close the door. Go to the next one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got my Josh. stairs here. Oh, look at Josh drawing stairs. Oh, yeah, I can't even recall those stairs. <laughs> wow, that's impressive. Another it, 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 it winds around to back to the, uh, the east and goes further down. Yeah, so anyway. It's like half circular. <laughs> Spiral okay. almost. Yeah, that door like leads into a 30-foot uh, like across by 20-foot high room. That, yeah. With another <laughs> door right there. Did you just get hit? The room, is, the room is sparsely furnished with rotting furniture. This includes a bed, desk, chest, writing table, a wooden chair, and a wooden holy symbol shaped like a lightning bolt. All of the furniture is covered with a thick layer of dust. On the floor lies the body of a dead hobgoblin. The body looks several weeks dead. Its left arm is swollen and discolored. We found the Trap. hobgoblin. Got a trap. Something poisoned it. Yep. Well, I want the holy symbol. Oh, I think he did too. Yeah. It's a wooden holy symbol. It has no value. Well, Eldeen, you want to take a look at things? I don't want anything in here that badly. There's no chest. You don't want to check for traps? I'll talk about your girl calling. There's another door. We have to go through the room to get to the other door. Yeah, we have to go through the room to get to the other door. So why don't we take a quick look. Search the hobgoblin. Maybe he's right. mm-hmm. Pokey pokey, checking for traps. The hobgoblin check has a full pockets. water bottle. Wow. Everybody yeah. takes a sip. It's all gone. And a purse with 135 silver and 40 gold. You got the money? Otherwise yep. the room is empty. Why are you letting the thief do the accounting? Because he's going to have the money anyway. Because we're too lazy to do it anyway. It's going to end up in his pocket. How many again. gold? 45? We're 40. Just, we're just 40. taking a shortcut. 30 pieces of silver. 135. <laughs> yeah. did I so there were, 30, there, were, there were 35 pieces of silver and 4 gold. 135. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> in case 10%. you guys are curious. 10%. Anything else in the room worth looking at all? No. Otherwise, the room is empty. Okay. All right. Well, we have its hand. I was. Its hand. Its hand its was arm. Arm. The arm. Was oh, out. like it was opening the door. Well, when it got o- opening this door, it opens up into a thirty by twenty room. Or so. Got injected that, into it. That all connects. For the connects to this one. Yeah. Well, it no, connects to both. It actually connects to both of those. Yeah. Something got a little off center there. But oh. In the center of the room, you see a ten-foot-tall cage. In the bottom of the cage is a pile of coins and gems. Hanging from the top of the cage is a giant beehive. Several large, one-foot-long bees are buzzing around the room. The mesh of the cage is wide enough for them to fly through. There's also a one-foot square hole high in the south wall. Can we estimate, based on our experience of looking at piles of gold, how many pieces, gold pieces are in that pile? I certainly can. <laughs> uh, right. It's in the thousands. <sighs> I have the perfect idea. Let's get all of the extra wood, wood. we have, bring set it into the room, room, smoke them out, set it on fire, take any little bit of water that we've got left in that flat, make the wood wet so it smokes a lot. Okay, my guess is that hobgoblin got stuck by one of these. I know. And it blew up yeah. his arm and killed him. Mm-hmm. Right, he was allergic to them. I have an EpiPen. <laughs> so I figure what we'll do, I, I like Mike's idea, we take wood and we make like a, an enclosure with a door so that we can reach and grab the cold, make it like a tank. We'll, we'll get, somebody gets inside it, pushes it forward. Those are two very creative <laughs> ideas. What, so what, if we lit the room, what if we lit the fire in the other room? So the bees just right o- there. Open the door. And then open the door at the last minute, then go wait outside by the stairs. So just hours. let just let it smoke it out. Let it smoke it out. That way we are not anywhere near the bees lighting the fire. How many bees? Well, don't forget. It, it, I mean, how many bees? Joel? We saw after, five bees flying around. Five. And holes in the wall and a hive. Yeah. Is this a- right after now? consulting with Darter, yeah. it seems as though the, those two doors on the other end of the room 
open up into the rooms where the, the Gorm guys were, yes. and if they find some, us in here, they're going to be pissed. So just yeah. keep that in mind. We I, don't, I don't know that we need to get this Strider. That's what I'm thinking we might not. Yeah. I'm also thinking it's an illusion. Why would there be an illusion in the middle of an abandoned temple? If, he, if Joel said thousands of coins, first off, we have no capacity to carry thousands of coins. But what does it ever stop us in D&D? Anybody. What does it ever stop anybody Master, in D&D? Master, I ask you this. Bag of holding. Um, if somebody dies of an illusion, <laughs> would they then... The bees are not illusions. Right. They're, they're in a, it's in a cage. It's not just out in the open. So the bees can fly through the cage. Right. 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 You can't go in the cage because... Yep. Because of the beast. But the, I, the cage is hanging, right? Is it hanging no. freely? No, it's the no, cage. the cage is on the floor. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, going up 10 feet. Goes up, yeah. Oh, okay. And Picture there's a, a hanging beehive cage. on top. Okay. We have all the rotted... Well, the, is all the clothing rotted from the clothing store? We get all that stinky hay. So that that's what I said. That's 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 that and right. some wet wood. Yeah. Make a good smoke, smoke cloud. Smoke the bees, make them all drowsy. Smoke the bees up. Are, are you Plus guys, also so are you guys in the room debating this? No. Because the bees are going to... Step out, close the door. No, no, no. We're in the other room. We're not going room. Coming okay. up with our plan. I think I don't know. I mean, I, we could we could say that that's our plan and call it a night. Okay. And discuss and, if and, you and, know. And actually, we light the fire in in the in the hobgoblin room. If we do this, the guys in the other two rooms are gonna smell the smoke and they're gonna come in. So yeah. Yeah, but wait a minute. If we light the fire in the hobgoblin room, okay. I don't think go it's back worth this, I don't think it's worth trying to get this. Okay, then let's move on. There's, you know, the other thing we could do. I mentally mark this room. It will never ever leave my mind. <laughs> you know, there's another thing I we mean, could do. Yeah. We could take the hobgoblin body. That and I've used like, like Elvis writing on the walls. That's like glow in the dark. We Can't could, really we could take the hobgoblin body and throw it in the room, and then have them all sting. And every single time they sting the hobgoblin, they die. We assume. So, did we notice any dead bees on the floor? Were they hornets or were they bumblebee types? They were giant bees. Yellow jackets, bumblebees, or hornets? It's a giant bee, Bob. <laughs> well, I, mean, giant, I think giant bees are bumblebees. Or a wasp, because a wasp can sting multiple times, but a bumblebee can only sting once. Why don't we, you go in there, get stung once, and then we'll see if the bee that stung you died. Well, look, here, let me ask you another way. Were they yellow and round and had a black stripe through them? Were they eating honey nut Cheerios? <laughs> Were they, <laughs> are they the same as their smaller insect like counterparts? Yeah. I think we can tell with a wet foot. We could probably seven. just look and see, is there a barb on their tail? Yeah. All right, there's a if picture of we'll killer bees bar. in here. Oh, there's a picture? Killer bees. Oh, that's exciting. That's what they look like. Oh, they're yellow jackets. Oh, they, they die. One yeah, sting they're of their tail. They're yellow jackets. Yellow they jackets lose, don't. They leave, their, they leave their stingers. Yeah, one sting of their poison. One sting of their poison. But the yellow jacket is empty. Yeah, and there's ten of them and only eight of us, so none of us are going to make it. We just see we tie a rope to the hot goblin body, we throw it in, Whoa. then three bees sting it, and then we pull the body back, and then we throw it in again, and three more bees sting it, and then we just kill all the bees by having it sting the corpse. I think that maybe they <laughs> that, that the the larger bee may be more more volatile than the uh, smaller bee. Perhaps. Perhaps. Well, and who's to say that from the holes more bees don't come to the punish the ones that yeah. that's true. There could be more in the ceiling. There could be more in the ceiling. We'll have to discuss this. Yes. This was fun. You Thank you. Yeah. What? what do you want to do? Without a bag yes. of holding, I can't go in there. Chase the bees? In all seriousness. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, no, no offense to the, the assassin's to the mapper? No, it just felt great to make all this kind of visible progress. Yes. <laughs> and the assassin's not, not there is no visible progress. The yeah. not. It's true. Yeah, that, was, that three hour session fun, might have sent you back uh, a day or two. Yeah. I think the frustrating thing about Tess is that was I just kept feeling like we were going in circles, man. Oh, God, yes. Just went around the square. Oh, yeah. So, Jim Beam Devil's Cut.